Welcome to PBKC on this beautiful Sunday afternoon. This is event number four, the final table of the 150K Guarantee Multi-Flight Tournament here at PBKC 1111 North Congress Avenue in West Palm Beach, right across the street from the Palm Beach International Airport. No intro today because we're going right into the action. My name is Mike Jamison, along with the wonderful tournament director and coordinator right here at PBKC, Miss Jamie Bellissimo Menninger. Hey, Mike, how are you today? This is the first time we've been on a stream together. I, I think know. that's purposely because they didn't want us to, to, to join together. And just talk all we're, day. We're, a, we're a, like one of those tag teams you just don't want to face. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> what are you excited about in this tournament today? Oh, my God. It was our second guaranteed event in this series. And we surpassed the guarantee once again. And I'm just really excited for these guys. This is going to be a really nice payout at the end. Yeah, I, I hope for some exciting action. We're down to the top nine. Uh, it started out with uh, 565 players on these four flight, multi-flight, two flights on Friday, two on Saturday, and now we are down to the top nine. We'll meet the competitors very shortly, and Jamie will be calling the action. So this is about hand three, and we're just getting going. These guys have been playing together all morning. Um, I believe we came back with 43 players. I believe that was yeah, the number 43. 43 was the number this morning. That started at 11 a.m. There's Trent opening with Ace King offsuit. Yes, Robin, this is the final table of the 150K. Hey, Florida Mount Man, how you doing? He's probably going to get look. Oh, no. Tough spot Mr. Trent has with the grinder directly to his right. But he's going to take this down with no fight back. Poker Noah's checking in from the Dolphins Giants game. He's down in Miami right now. Hey, Noah. He's not rooting for either team, so he's just at the game having a good time. Yeah, I'm sure he's going to enjoy himself. <laughs> of course. Go ahead and hit exclamation enter. We're still entering to win a seat to the main event. That's a $500 value. And we're going to give away that seat on Thursday. So go ahead and hit exclamation enter for your chance to win a seat to the main event. So I found out some information about that. You get one entry for every 10 minutes you view. Okay. And so that's basically how it works. Approximately every 10 minutes, uh, hit exclamation point enter. Yes. And you will receive another ticket in the drawing. Yep. Every 10 minutes, if uh, you're just signing on for the first time, you'll get a freebie. Uh, so if you haven't already, uh, follow us, subscribe to us, like us right here on twitch.tv slash PBKC Poker. Look at Trent. Trent now has pocket jacks, ace king to pocket jacks. And Mike is coming with him on the button. Get nines for Valentino. He's in. Good thing he did not raise that spot. Robin Poker, who's one of our good players, says, I'm anti-sweating seat five because he busted me. Probably a nice guy, but I'll get my vengeance in this life or the next. <laughs> 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 We're going to meet the, the field of entrance uh, shortly here. is two for two. Ace King and Jack Jack hold up. Not a bad way to start the final table, am I right? 100%. Okay, let's run down the table. Uh, Daniel's in seat number one, originally from Jamaica, now lives in Brooklyn. His nickname is Dan. He's a health inspector. Just started playing tournaments this year. His hobby is partying, and he wants to shout out to everyone in Brooklyn. So I'm guessing everybody right now in Brooklyn, New York is watching this show. 100%. For sure. Hey, Brooklyn. Uh, seat two, didn't want to divulge a lot of information. Seat three is Valentino from Del Rey. Nickname is VB Cash, customer support manager. And biggest poker win might be coming today. That's what he says. Sweet. Yeah, Brent is wearing a Mitchell Trubisky jersey. So uh, it's probably worth something because that guy's not that good. <laughs> Ray 
raise it up on the button with 10-9 offsuit. Carl behind him in the small blind has King Jack suit it. Thinking if he wants to raise. simply call and he went with call so now we're heads up to the flop and there's the nut flush draw for Carl Valentino continues. Carl will be coming along. Raise it up. Oh, all in. Okay, Carl's all in, C4. And that's gonna put an end to this hand. Okay, Jamie, let's uh, keep talking about the players. Uh, C1, we've already met Daniel. C3 is Valentino. He's done well so far. C5 is Kyle Bird Lazaro from Plantation, Fort Lauderdale. Nickname is The Bird. A <laughs> public adjuster, likes gambling. Shout out to Wes Boca Grime Chat. C6, Joseph Petrolino from Brooklyn, now lives in Boynton. Nickname Joe Love, he's retired. Likes cars and he doesn't want to shout out to anybody. Fair enough. And then C9 is Kevin from Hialeah, Big Kev, property manager. Hit a big one at the instrument a while back. He likes wrestling. Oh, that's cool. I'm sure some of the guys that work here could talk to him for a long time. Repping the 305. You know a lot of these players, Jamie. I do. I don't know them well. I just know them from the area, seeing them around. And there's a lot of familiar faces here. Obviously, we can't not but mention the grinder. Of course. Just a two-time world champion, that's well, that, all. That, that's all? <laughs> oh, man. You know. I gave him more credit. Yeah. <laughs> that's awesome. Yeah. It's nice to have him here. His He's brother was a, here, too. Right. Michael Mizraki has been a constant in poker for years. He's kept it going for a long time, and that's, that's tough to do. And we're so happy to have him here. Yeah. Thanks for following us, Bando. Kyle is, has pocket aces. How do you get pocket aces on the fifth hand in a final table? That's good stuff, Kyle. Yeah, not a bad start. Nope. Does Carl want to fight? No, sir. So the guys that, that played last night in the 4 o'clock, what time did they leave here last night? I'm really not sure, actually. Last night I was not here. Okay, but you're, um, you're guessing it had to have been, you know. So last night in the 4 o'clock, mm -hmm. I'm going to say it was probably 10 hours. Wow. So probably around 2. Okay. I would say 2 would be fair. <laughs> Robin Poker says... Uh, seat five isn't allowed aces. Formal <laughs> protest. I like that. <laughs> Let's see. Daniel opens with ace nine. Mid position. Everyone in late positions getting nine ten off. Bunch of junk out there. He's just going to take it down free. Where do we go? Next hand. So if you sat down at this final table, uh, you see everybody sitting around you. Uh, what do you, what's your plan for today? My plan for today? What would I be wanting to do? Yes. So they've probably had an occasion had an opportunity to play with each other over the course of the tournament mm -hmm. um, either at I mean I guess there's some people who haven't bumped into each other but for the most part they probably have 
sort of a temperature on at least half the table, mm -hmm. I would kind of sit back and see where, um, I like to see who raises more than their fair share. Okay. And the positions that they're doing it in. Mm -hmm. The super aggressive players are gonna open in any position, mm -hmm. more so on the back end towards okay. the button, cut off and hijack. However, um, you know, some people just are raising way more than their fair share, and I like to try and take advantage of that. Of course. Um, with three betting and things of that nature. Or, depending on the strength of my hand, potentially gambling a little bit with them and just calling. Um, but you definitely want to keep your eyes out for somebody who's advertising more than their fair share of the hands. Of course. Um, and also on the flip side, who's not playing? Yeah. So the value of your hand depends on, is very dependent on who you're up against. Mm -hmm. If you're up against an aggressive player who seems to have a lot of, a lot more than his fair share, you're going to play lighter into him. Sometimes they wake up with a monster and they get paid off. Mm -hmm. However, when the cards are face down, you have to use what you've got. So Mike just pulled at king 10. He's in early position. That makes sense. Maybe on the back end, he's opening with that. I haven't really seen too much of his play. Okay. But it's best to raise later in position simply because you have the information of how many people have folded and what you may or may not be up against. Trent has the worst position on the table. Yeah. He is directly to the right of the grinder. <laughs> <laughs> and that's a tough spot to yeah. be in. Carl raised to 65 and Kevin called, defending his big blind. And Kevin outflopped him. Carl has a strong hand too. He has middle pair top kicker. Trent led. Oh, I, no, I apologize. There we go. Options to Kevin. Check. Carl is checking. Kevin is going to win this hand. Do AK Soul, first time chatter. It's at 175. Does Kevin pay it? Yes, he did. It's a tough spot for Kevin. So uh, we were asking about, they were asking about the payoffs. So what are the payoffs here, Jamie? Do we have that sheet? I have it. <laughs> Let me get this information for you. I have it too. Uh, the first place is walking out with 33,155. 33,155 for first place. And the worst they could do is ninth, 3,134. That's not bad. Not bad at all. No. 20,000 to second place, 14, 11, 8, 6, 4. Some nice numbers up top. King Kev says, Kevin won, he's confused about that. Kevin was in the big blind. So let me run down the, the top nine 
because you guys were asking about it. Uh, first place again, 33,155. Second place, 20,484. Third place, 14,968. Fourth place, 11,114. Fifth place, 8,381. Sixth place, 6,414. Seventh, 4,981, almost five grand. Eighth place, 3,923. And the next person out, 3,134. So right now on the screen, we have the chip counts listed. We have, actually everyone has a really nice stack, which will give us some really nice play. Yeah. We have one player who has less than 20 big blinds and he has 19. No. So we're in great shape. We're gonna have some nice play at this table. It gives them some flexibility to, this will not be an all in fest. Mm -mm. It gives them some flexibility to raise and follow through with continuations, things like that. Kevin said, she said Kevin paid him off, and uh, but he paid Kevin. Oh, I had it backwards. Sorry, thank you. He paid Kevin. If this is your first time watching the show, please like us and follow us. If you have Amazon Prime, you could also get one free subscription a month. Please subscribe to us too. Three players to the flop. Kevin hits top pair. Mike has a gut shot. And the grinder has a backdoor straight or a flush to draw. And determination. Kevin has top pair. He's raising. Grinder's not enjoying this. Everybody is distracted by Brent's Mitchell Trubisky jersey, it seems. <laughs> we might have to, uh, when, he's, uh, when he gets off the table, we might have to have him change that jersey. Call the floor on that Bears <laughs> <Yeah>. jersey. <laughs> well, the, here's the problem. The, the main producer of the show, Josh, is actually a Bears fan, so I think he's really enjoying today. <laughs> That's funny, though. Carl's lead in VPIP doesn't mean much right now. Haven't been playing much more than about half an hour. Yeah, that remains to be seen. I think the grinder may inch up on that aggression level. Yeah, Skyler's got a Tony Romo jersey he can wear. I don't know if we want that either. Tony Romo does his best work in the booth, not on the field. Kevin with ace eight again. Small blind has a six suited. And that's a winner. So today is, today's like, it's so many different events today. We've had three events today. We had the senior championship. That's going on right now. Correct. Uh, three o'clock. We just had a, a tournament start. Then we have a nightly at six o'clock. And we had this. And we have this. Yeah. So, so we had four events today. Four events today. Yep. Not, not bad for a Sunday afternoon here at PBKC. Yeah, there's a lot going on all week long. What are the tournaments you're most excited for? Of course, the 570 main event. That's going to be big. We have eight starting flights, 11 and 4 o'clock every day for Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Nice. Day two will be next Sunday okay. at 11 o'clock. We look forward to that. Yeah, that's going to be exciting. We are guaranteeing $300,000 prize nice. pool for that. But I think we're going to surpass that pretty easily. I'm sure hopefully we'll have the grinder back for that. That'll be a lot of fun. 
I expect nice. him and a lot of big names for that, that yeah. tournament. Yeah. We don't see Joseph's cards, but Carl has King Jack offsuit. He's gonna let it go. Oh, they both had King Jack. Suit it versus unsuited. That's another thing in tournament play. It's one thing to raise with a hand, mm -hmm. but it's much harder to call with it. Okay. So you open with something, you can open with anything, but to call you have to you have to be more discriminating. If you're a new viewer today, please go ahead and follow us like us, subscribe to us, especially if you have Amazon Prime, it's easy to do. You get one free subscription a month. We've got people from all over the country doing all different things, whether you're at a football game or at home or on the road. Uh, thanks for joining us today for the 150K final table. Trent raised with pocket sevens I under a, the gun. I have a friend that calls that something different. Walking sticks, hockey Ho hockey sticks, sticks, hockey <laughs> sticks, candy canes. <laughs> a That's couple names for it. Hockey sticks is going to be banned on this show soon. Hey, We're we'll call them candy it. canes. It's December. I like it. I like it a lot. We're in the Christmas spirit. Uh, Mike has ace king. That's the end of that. Seven shrivel up when you get three bet. Especially from under the gun, you're raising and then someone three bats you. Mm -hmm. Tends to make you feel like their hand is very strong. Yeah. We heard from the head producer, Josh. He's going to keep the Trubisky jersey on. <laughs> <laughs> he will allow it. He will. So happy to have Miss Mary back. Oh she my. wasn't feeling well for a little while. If you've come to the PBKC second floor poker room, you know uh, she's who a fixture. Mary is. She's amazing. She is. We she's love wonderful. her, and she had wasn't feeling very well, but now she's back, and we're so happy to have her back. And actually, it's nice that you mentioned that because so many people have asked about her. Of course, her. yeah. She, they were worried about her. She was. She's a part of this poker she room is. up here. She definitely is. She's feeling much better, though. She's happy to report. She's back. So happy to hear that. Hey, that tall Josh is checking in. How you doing, buddy? So Daniel opened with Ace King. Mike three bet with 10-9 suited. So it's a raise to 80, a three bet to 225. I have a feeling Daniel will stick around. And Kyle's thinking with Ace Jack off. Out of the big blind, he let it go. And that, I believe, was a good choice. What does Daniel do here? Sure is, Joss. I agree. There he goes, right over the top to 500. Two seventy five for Mike to call. Ace King seems so much further ahead than nine ten. However, it's a sixty forty. Mm -hmm. Sixty forty split. Yeah, thanks for joining us. If this is your first time, please like us, subscribe to us, follow us. If uh, you're not very familiar with Twitch, which I know a lot of people aren't, go to YouTube right now and search PBKC Poker. We're also streaming on YouTube. Every time we go live on Twitch, we're also on YouTube.com. Yeah, we have a nice crowd in the chat today. Oh, for sure. It's a big yeah. tournament. There was a lot of people in here the other day for the 50K guarantee, which was won by uh, Mark Rakoff. 
big money winner on that was Twan. Twan. <laughs> Twan. Yeah, Twan took first place. I think they um, they did a flip for the trophy. Yeah, Mark took the trophy. Twan yeah. took the money. Yeah. <laughs> Not a bad day's work. Yeah. Mike with Ace King. Ace King is just going around. Twitch said I used to grind the five dollar five K on Saturdays forever ago. Well come on back. So we are going to bring back an entry level tournament. Okay. It is going to be once a month. Nice. And it will be a ten dollar buy in with ten dollar entries or re entries wow. and add ons. Sounds awesome. Yeah, we're gonna put a thousand dollar guarantee on it. So if you're learning poker or just interested in coming in, maybe um, your first time live this would be a nice opportunity for people to jump in the game and see yeah. how it is. That's what I tell people, and uh, we've, we've talked about it in depth on the show, is, you know, if you're, if you're not a seasoned player, this is the place to go. If you've never been to a real poker yeah. room, if you played bar poker, you played with your friends, come out to PBKC. Uh, you know, we're, we're going to have people that are going to help you learn the game. We have tables uh, that will set up for you uh, for first-time players. It's, it's mm -hmm. just a great place to play and start. All in for Trent and see Trent eight. is all in. Pocket jacks. Daniel, it is an actual flip. Daniel has king queen. Trent's thinking, does he have ace king? Does he have ace queen? Does he have aces, kings, or queens? Or is it a lower pocket pair? There you go. Trent takes it down, uncontested. Okay, there's the payouts on the screen right now. Top price, 33,155. Next person out, 3,134. Almost 100 times you're buying. Oh, for sure. Your first place. That's not bad. Yeah. Not bad at all. It's a beautiful parlay. It was 150K guarantee. I think we had 152 in the tournament. Got up Actually, to 152K. No, we were higher than that. Oh, were we, we were 157. Oh, nice. However, we pay into the flights okay. when um, Poker Executives is with us. Yeah. They have a system where they pay the first couple people, or the, the last few people, mm -hmm. in the the individual flights, so nice. everyone comes back in the money. So that 5000 was paid out Good. in advance. Good. We want to shout out to Jimmy Summerfeld and the group from Poker Executives. Do a fantastic job. We're already talking about another spring tournament coming up. We have no idea anything about it, but uh, we'll keep <laughs> you updated when it happens. Yeah, he's going to, I'm sure Jimmy will come up with a schedule pretty soon. And as soon as we know, you'll know. Foldham 219 is loving that Trubisky jersey. So we're, uh, <laughs> we're about to uh, 50%. We're right in the middle. Half the people hate it. Half the people love it, it seems so. I'm still going to call floor. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think he's a, uh, whoa, Chuck, I think he's actually the backup on a team. Yeah, backup in Buffalo. That's what Skyler said. Kevin has sevens. He checked and he is calling. He 
has the best hand right now. <gasps> Much better hand yeah, right now. Yeah, for sure. Now you can't get him off of that. It's not a great card for his hand, however. Checks. Valentino. Take the check or check. Yeah, Josh, I think the most upsetting thing would be if they still actually had him at quarterback. Josh is like, hey, I, I don't mind the jersey now that we have Justin Fields. As far as I'm concerned, he could be sitting right next to me. I don't know. Of who course, this you have no is. idea what I'm talking about. <laughs> 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 uh. But I do like all the chat about it. Of course, I think it's fun. Uh, somebody said slow game. What is this going to be? How it's going to be for at least the first couple of uh, hours in this show? What's up? What, the, the game, it's, it's kind of moving at a slow pace. Is that? It is moving at a slow pace. Um, there's a lot on the line. They're going to think and they're going mm -hmm. to give some consideration to everything they do. The difference between going out first and taking first of course. is significant. Mike's Carl has right 12 now. big blinds left. He has 505,000. Okay. Joseph is at 15. With 610,000, those two guys want to start building up that stack so that they don't find themselves in a position where they have to be going all in yeah. with basically any pocket pair, any ace, things like that. What would Sunday be without some football chat right here in the chat yeah. room? People are saying Aaron Rodgers might go to the Bears next year. I don't know. I've also, I've also heard talk of him going to the Steelers, which... I mean, we work for the family that owns the Steelers, so yeah. I wouldn't mind that for a couple of years. Yeah, he's good. Yeah, one of the best. Fair enough. Then the Steelers should have him. I agree. Yeah. <laughs> Jamie has no idea what we're talking about. Yeah, apparently, I don't even know if this guy's any good. I remember interviewing you one time, and I said, I used to ask, hey, what's like your favorite sports team? You're like, I don't watch sports, I watch poker. And I'm like, yeah. okay, that's all yeah. I need to know. And people assume because I like poker that I like sports. Of course, yeah. And, you know, I guess... No, poker is a sport. That's your sport. Yeah, that's my thing. And I Tom like Dwan, I remember, was your favorite player. Yeah, I love him. Never met him personally. No? However, I just like his style. Absolute no fear. Oh. Well, Daniel... He wants to get in there. He wants to play. It's suited. Wojcik says, Daniel's feeling frisky. He certainly is. Daniel came to play. I love when frisky and poker are, are both in the same sentence. I just nah. love it. You know, you can't win by folding. Oh, that's for sure. There you go. And he subscribes to that. Top, top for Kyle. I like the plan. However, it's not going to work. All in for Kyle in seat five. Yeah. It's the exact flop he wanted. Daniel's going to take his time as if he has some major decision. Whoopsie, three of clubs shown. that card was enough. So, we've never been on the show before, and that's, you know, 
I think they planned it that way. But <laughs> when it comes to, uh, when I'm on the show with Noah, I know Noah's the type of person that he's got so much confidence. He's the kind of person that would want to sit down at the table with the best of the best. Yeah. And, and kind of see what he's made of. Sure. And challenge them and, and, and try to beat the best players in the world. Yeah. If you sit down at a table like this, are you intimidated? Um, so the money would intimidate me a little bit. Um, what happened here? However, no, that's the thing with poker. So if I went and played football against mm -hmm. Aaron Rodgers, of course, yeah. I probably wouldn't do so well. Yes, exactly. But in poker, if the cards go your way, yes. you can beat the best in the world. Mm -hmm. And so that's the fun part. No. So yes, would I be intimidated? A little bit. A little bit, okay. However, um, you can't let things get in your head when you're playing poker. You have no. to clear your head and just move on. That's what we talked about the other day. No other sport can you sit down with some of the best of the world and- And, and beat them. And beat them and have and a beat chance. Them. Yep. I'm sure the grinder in, um, has some foolish play yeah. done against him just so that somebody could say, I beat the grinder. Oh, of course, yeah. So that is good for him and bad sometimes. Mm, okay. I'm sure it makes it more difficult for him to read hands because people are just doing wild things just to get involved with him. Yeah, for sure. So what do we have here? Joseph in seat seven, raised to 120 with pocket sixes. Uh-oh. And the grinder mm. has queens. Oof. He re-raised. <laughs> yeah, the reds. And we have a pot. Mm. So Joseph has pocket sixes and he is out of position against the grinder. On a flop like this, what does he do? I didn't do anything for him. He went all in, grinder called. <laughs> once or twice, we're going once. This is a tournament, my friends. Hey, and that is. Well, it's been nice having Joseph Petrolino on the show. So now in that case, Joseph might not have done that against another player, yeah. but with Grinder and his popularity mm -hmm. and knowing that he's an aggressive player, yeah. Joseph may have assumed, oh, he's just three betting me, yeah. I have a pair, mm -hmm. and his plan was a stop and go. Of course. Where you call that three bet mm -hmm. and shove any flop, regardless of what it is. And so it may work out sometimes, however that time, not so yeah. much, because the grinder had queens. Oh, of course. And there was nothing for him to be afraid of on that flop. Well, thanks to uh, Joseph Petrolino. Nice ninth place finish. Walks out of here with over $3,000. Not a bad day for Joseph. Yeah. 3134 He still has time to go hop into our one day. He sure does. <laughs> or the nightly. I mean, yeah. there's two tournaments up there he can uh, join. Kyle has ace queen. He's going to put in a little raise. Foldham is saying a lot of pocket queens at the uh, feature table the past few days. Yeah. I saw quite a bit the other day, too. Did you? I actually put it on uh, TikTok. We had two players fold pocket queens against pocket aces before the flop in the 50K on uh, Friday. It was yeah. just unbelievable. I mean, to get Noah's reaction to that, that's what I actually put on TikTok. If you're on TikTok, follow us, PBKC underscore PB Kennel Club to see that video. I'll have to check it out. Yeah, for I'll sure. I'll have to check it out. Um, queens are scary too because if you do call, mm -hmm. um, there's a, an ace or a king on that flop. Yeah. Where do you go from well, there? Of course, I get it. Yeah. Especially if you're out of position, such as just what happened with those pocket sixes. So it could be. Pos At the time we did a poll, uh, Noah did in, in the chat room, and about 
75% of the people said there's no way they're, they're going to fold pocket queens. But, I mean, when you explain it, and I, the research I actually did on it, mm -hmm. just, to, just to try to, to, to understand what they were feeling. And, I mean, uh, there is obviously places where uh, that's not the worst idea. And, and, and for both of the folds they made, it was yeah. when they watched the show back, they probably really felt like a genius. I would say that that could also be dependent on the player you're up against. Of course. Someone just texted me. So, um, in my personal experience, mm -hmm. playing cash, I folded pocket kings pre-flop. Oh, wow. To a player who was super tight, mm -hmm. I've called it way more times than I folded it. Yeah. But I folded kings a number of times but it has to be three or it, it would actually have to be four bet. Mm -hmm. And I would have to be up against a player that plays aces yeah. only basically. Mm -hmm. And that does happen. That's the one thing I really enjoy about being on a show with Jamie is Jamie's a, a player. Jamie, when she's not here, is, is playing poker. We actually looked up your Hinden Bob the other day. And it's, oh, it's I haven't all, played tournaments in a decade. Yeah, yeah it's all, it's all <laughs> the New Jersey. Yeah. Oh, actually, that's a lie for my birthday mm -hmm. this um, last month. Yeah. I played the 400 at the Hard Rock. Okay. And um, I was, I want to play more. Yeah. I enjoyed it so much. Um, didn't make it much past the first break. Mm -hmm. um, there was a guy who was raising far more than his fair share. Okay. And my read was right on the flop. My top pair was good, but I had been bullying him a little bit. And so I decided to just call. Mm -hmm. I come to find out he had bottom pair and turned wow. three of a kind. And I paid him off because yeah. an aggressive player mm -hmm. gets paid. Yep. And Boy, did he get paid! He didn't get it all. If he had put all, if he had moved all in, I would have called him there too. Of course. But um, just have to trust your read. I didn't see that five turning, <laughs> causing <laughs> me so much heartache. But I'm definitely it kind of rejuvenated my love of tournament poker. Oh, good. And I'm gonna get back into it. When you go down to a tournament like that, because you're now so known in South Florida poker, is everybody like, "Hey, Jamie"? Oh yeah. Oh, of course. Yeah, yeah. Um, there's no hiding. Oh, of course there's not. <laughs> Seriously. <Yeah. laughs> but I enjoy it. It's fun. Yeah. I I am a poker player. I'm one yeah. of them. So I Kay. I like it. Grinders all in here. His customer has nothing. Ace high. Could be a sick call. Yep, same thing Wochuk said. Daniel can't call on that hand no. right there. But it's sick when they do make an ace-high call like mm -hmm. that. Yeah. Um, and some people will make will call with ace-high. Yeah. In that spot, though, he still has outs to mm -hmm. beat him with a flush draw or just any pair. Yeah. And boy, does it suck when you oh, pick of off course. that bluff like that or semi-bluff. Yeah. And then they hit mm -hmm. <laughs> when yeah. the pot. Uh. Eight-handed here on the final table, the event number four at the Palm Beach Winter Classic. A four-flight, 150K guaranteed tournament. Set it off with 565 entrants, now down to the top eight. That's quite an accomplishment in and of itself. Oh, 565 sure. down to eight? Yeah. Not bad at all. Yeah. Like I say, you have to play well, you have to get lucky, and you have to win your flips. Mm -hmm. Then you find yourself here. Tournament poker, more so than the cash game, does separate the better players. Yeah. The cream rises to the mm -hmm. top. 
here and it's much more apparent because you'll see people like the grinder yeah. on final tables. Of course, and yeah. Take a look at his Henda mop. Oh, of course. Yeah, it's we looked monster. at it the other day. It's yeah. un unbelievable. Yeah. And he's in the top 10 in history of Florida, too. Yeah. In earnings. Yeah. Is he? His brother is also. So. It's a family thing. It is. I just can't imagine going to like a family dinner and like, hey, you guys want to play poker? And then and the amount of, <laughs> oh, man. The, yeah. Just the amount of tension at the, the, the dinner table, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so. I, that must be a great game. Oh, of course. I'd of course, love to yeah. get in on that Thanksgiving oh, I know game. You would, yeah. Yeah, I would. We have a bunch of trash in this hand. Ryan, are you going to let him in? Yeah. Nothing really to fight over there. Now the grinder's interested. That's the end of that. You've been the tournament coordinator here for probably what, going on a year now? Yeah, about that. Okay, what what have you learned about South Florida poker in the last year? They love suited cards. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. No. Um, South Florida poker. It's a more aggressive style of poker. Okay. Um, people, people are more splashy here. Okay. They like to see more flops. I'm from New Jersey. Down here, you'll find multiple players to a flop, whereas you'll see some of it up there, but mm -hmm. not quite so much. Okay. Um, in a one-two game, say, yeah. you can have the whole table go into the flop. It's extremely rare elsewhere. Yeah, of course. The pots are also inflated. Okay. Um, the value is a little distorted. Mm -hmm. You know, the betting is stronger. Things. Okay. That's more in cash games. Um, as far as tournaments, I don't really watch that much how they play because mm -hmm. I'm flooring, of so I'm walking are, yeah. around. But. Um, I would say the aggression probably follows right along. And in tournaments, these guys were locked into tournaments only mm -hmm. up until about 10 years ago. Oh, yeah. In Florida, you couldn't play cash. Mm -hmm. And so now, I think it's a strong group of players yeah. that play. Actually, I guess it's been about 15 years now that they have had cash games in Florida. But Florida players tend to be strong in tournaments. Yeah. Florida Mountain Man is just accumulating tickets. Most you can get is 200, and he's got to be over the 100 mark easily. Hey, we love it. For sure. Hang with us, Florida Mountain Man. You can get tickets every 10 minutes by hitting exclamation enter. You can also hit exclamation giveaway for more information. And we're giving away a ticket to one of the flights of the main event. We're going to do that on Thursday on the show when we put a feature table right here on our live stream. Yeah, I like the addition of those feature tables. I think that's a lot of fun. You get to see play in the middle of the tournament. Of course. Which is different than final table. Yeah. Final table, they're really interested in laddering up and you know hitting the high numbers of payouts. Whereas in the middle of the tournament, it's really about gathering chips to get to this point. Yeah. And it's a different style of play. As a tournament player, you need to be able to change gears like that. Um, in the beginning, it starts out with small blinds and it's more like a cash game. You could splash around a little bit. And in the middle, it's about accumulating chips and building stacks. Um, and towards the end, it's about laddering up as well as. Yeah. yeah Florida Mountain Man has 110 tickets right now. Wow. Out of a possible 200, so I think he's going to hit the max by next Thursday for sure. Yeah, but he'll he'll be able to keep oh, gathering tickets until then. Yeah, until 200, and it only takes one. All you have to do is come in here uh, for 10 minutes or more, hit exclamation enter, and you might win a ticket to one of the flights of the main event. I love this hand Valentino has. Queen Jack suited. He likes it as well. Grinder threw away a six. 
in late position to an early position raise. Everyone want it out of there. It's a fun tournament coming up here on Tuesday that I know that uh, Noah and Jimmy were really happy about. It's the uh, three game mix, PLO, PLO 8, and Big O. How do you mm -hmm. feel about that tournament, Jamie? You're oh, a fan it's of fun. those. Yeah. I do, I like them. And you don't see tournaments like that that often. Um, it's a different, it's a completely different game than Hold'em. And it's just fun to have that option, to be able to play in that type of s tournament. Um, those games aren't as popular. The people who play them, though, are very dedicated yeah. and really enjoy it. King Jack suited, raising it up. Yeah, I'm excited about that. That's what uh, the people ask for, and uh, when they ask for that, we put together a tournament for them, and that is Tuesday. What's that? What time is that tournament going off two on Tuesday? Yeah, two o'clock on uh, Tuesday, two p.m. start time with a five hundred and seventy dollar buy-in. Another thing also worth mentioning about the schedule, our main event is a 570 buy-in. Okay. Um, but we are offering $70 satellites to get into oh, nice. it. So if 570 is a little too steep, take your shot with 70 bucks and see if you can get in. Of course. Oh my, look at this. We have Pocket Tens flopping top set. An action flop, says Woke Chuck. Oh yeah, Jack 10 has top pair with a gut shot, and King Jack has two overs and a gut shot, which if those two overs are good, that's a strong hand too, but they're not. Pocket 10 says, I'm all in. Oh no, oh no. It was, how'd it go? Yeah, Pocket 10's went all in. Jack 10 called. Oh my. Wow. Oh my. Hit the gutter right on the turn. Valentino did everything right. The cards just did not cooperate. Mm Seven hundred and sixty thousand. So got it very unlucky there, but I also yeah, think he should have jammed pre-flop. That's what Woke Chuck says. Um, I think it's easy to say that after the fact. Grinders lead the way right now, two point five billion. Carl's only got ten big blinds left, four oh five k. Are they updated, those chip counts? Uh, it looks to be updated. Yeah. Valentino, see, that's the thing, too. He had enough chips, he got unlucky in a monster hand, and he's still alive. <laughs> Robin Poker is uh, very upset, had to step away for lunch, came back, C5 still in the mix, very disappointing. Uh, what is Grinder doing, if not crushing his soul, please? <laughs> <laughs> Rob. Uh. C5 seems like a nice enough guy. Yeah, that's the bird. That's uh, Kyle Bird Lazaro. Oh, that's the bird? Yeah, that's the bird. It's my nickname for my daughter. Nice. I like him. I'm rooting for Kyle now. He wants a shout out to the West Boca Grime Chat. Get him on our stream. Who's the West Boca Grime Chat? I don't know. We're going to find out because yeah. hopefully they're watching right now. Come on, West Boca Grind Chat, if you're on, <laughs> represent. Robin says it's unfortunate that he chose to eliminate me. <laughs> yes, a horrible choice. Uh, Bullet Bobby's here also. Hey, Bobby. Bobby Bullet. It's not always easy to, to figure out who people are by their name, because I know it's not, it's not easy to pick your name on Twitch. Some people have to add a bunch of numbers, and half the time it's kind of guess who it might actually be. But uh, 
occasionally. It's not that difficult. I have a feeling I know who Bo Bullet Bobby is. Okay. The reason I say that is because every time when I'm on the show with Noah and he guesses who somebody might be by their screen name, he's always wrong. He's always wrong? Every time he's wrong. <laughs> he's like, oh, yeah, that guy's a football coach. This guy's like, no, no I'm not. not. No, I'm not. Bobby, are you who I think you are? We'll see. We'll see the answers. Raise it up. Grinders got East 10. Kevin's gone. Daniel. Oh. Yes, that, that's him. Yeah. You got it right. <laughs> so I think the grinder has an additional variable in how he how he has to play against people. Okay. Um, he has to decide if they're playing against him loose mm -hmm. because of who he is okay. or tight because of yeah. who he is. Are they afraid of him mm -hmm. because he's a world champion or do they want to beat him because yeah. he's a world champion? Of course, yeah. I used to have to deal that with that as a woman. Mm -hmm. Like when I would play on weekend nights in Atlantic City, Okay. Some people thought because they were a guy, no matter what I had, they could beat me. Mm -hmm. And others thought because I was a girl, no matter how I bet or what I did, I was only playing with the nuts. Mm -hmm. And yeah. so they were either playing super loose against me or super tight. And that certainly adds a strange dynamic to the game. Do you feel like we have more female poker players now? Oh, for sure. Yeah, I thought for so sure. too. Grinder out flops him. And he likes it. He's going to bet. Uh, the player out, Ricky, uh, hit that was uh, Joe, who was in seat number six. That was Joseph Petrolino. He was the first out. Eight handed right now. Josh says women make the best players. They're used to men BSing them already. I, I'm <laughs> telling you. <laughs> He is not lying, that's for sure. I agree. Again, if you're watching, you want to come play some poker today. Three o'clock, we start at a tournament. Six o'clock is a nightly. Four tournaments going on just today alone in the Palm Beach Winter Classic, which is in town through next week. And if you, can, if you do come in, try and come in a couple minutes early. You can watch the live table yeah. from we have a seating area oh, right yeah, outside sure. of it. And that's kind of fun to check out. Oh, it is. I tell everybody to come in and see the setup of the live table. Then they it's know beautiful. why sometimes we talk a little, you know, a little more quietly because the live table's like seven feet away from us <laughs> behind the curtain, so. It is. it is. Sometimes if I get excited, you'll hear me like go, oh my God. Oh, we hear you all the time up in the tournament area. Do you? All the time, and I always shout you out when I do, so. <laughs> oh, no, 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 I mean when I'm commentating. Though. Oh, yeah, for like, sure. Like if I'm oh, excited yeah, no. about a hand or something. Oh, they, they can hear you for sure. Yeah, they can. We're on a 15 minute delay right here. If you're wondering, if this is your first time checking out the show, go ahead and follow us, like us, subscribe to us. We're also on YouTube. Go to YouTube and search PBKC Poker. We're live streaming on there also. We usually do three days a week. On Thursdays, a cash game. And Friday and Saturday, it's the final table of the day tournament, which I think is working out perfectly. I, it's I so love much that. fun. So much fun. Daniel has jacks, and Mike is looking at him very suspiciously. Mm. <laughs> what do you have, Mike? Ace five suited. Ricky says, hi, Jamie. Who's this? Ricky. Hey, hey, Tuan. I know who that is. Oh, is that Tuan? That's Tuan. That's Tuan fan? Yeah. Okay. 
they, uh, they, they spelled his name wrong at one point and called him Fan Fan. And I, I kind of liked it. Yeah. I, mean, I, I, thought, I thought it worked better. Yeah, yeah. So if this is your first time tuning in, this is event number four, the final table right here at PBKC. We're in West Palm Beach, Florida. 1111 North Congress Avenue, right across the street from the Palm Beach International Airport. If you're listening from far away, fly right into PBIA, uh, get an Uber, or you can actually just walk across the street to where we are. Perfect location. Want to come down here right now. It's 77 degrees. It's a beautiful Sunday afternoon here in South Florida for the final table of the 150K guaranteed weekend multi-flight. Ace eight suited, Carl is all in. Oh, he's gonna get called. Sure is, not called, he went over the top. Ace queen. Diamonds are an eight for Carl to stay alive. Diamonds are an eight. So an eight. An eight, that's it. Oh, that's it. Ace of hearts makes the nut flush. And then there were seven. And then there were seven now, down to seven handed here on the final table. Carl walks out. Almost four thousand dollars, three thousand nine twenty-three. Hope you've enjoyed your time here, Carl. Have a great day. And Carl take his four thousand, parlay it on the five seventy. Yeah, that's there he goes. that's the way to do it. That is. Trent is now our short stack with eleven big blinds. He has some play, but he's getting to the point where he needs to start building his stack up or he's going to get eaten up by those blinds. One thing I do notice though about this tournament, Jimmy's structure is beautiful. Mm -hmm. We have plenty of chips in play and the blinds are are such that there is play left. Their stacks yeah. are deep enough where they have they can it's not an all-in fest yeah. at this final table. Trent limped in, Daniel called, Mike is going to raise. He's all in. Mike can see two all in with ace queen. Daniel was trying to squeeze himself in there with his seven six suited. <laughs> now Mike is getting a stare down from Daniel. That's the end of that. Ricky's asked, I guess that's Twani saying, uh, how come there isn't a horse event this time? I don't know. I wish there was. Yeah, I, I was wondering that myself. Yeah, horse is my favorite. Yeah. That is so much fun. I remember uh, the first tournament of the year, the card player poker tour. We had a horse tournament. I, I remember a gentleman that flying was this in. year. Yeah, this year, the beginning of this year. Feels like it was like so long ago. We had a horse. No, event. it was 2020. No, it, no, was, it was this year. year. It was the this beginning year. of this year. It feels yeah. like this year is like right. can't even remember back then. I but know it. I remember a gentleman flying all the way in from New York just yes. for that horse tournament. Yeah, because those are even harder to find. Oh, of course. Um, horse is such a fun game. When I used to play online tournaments, mm -hmm. I would always play horse. I would play all the events and sit out on hold'em. Because okay. Limit Hold'em is a little dry. Yeah. But everything else is so much fun. I think I want, I'll talk to Jimmy and see if we could get it back. Yeah, I, I think maybe I, maybe we event. had poor showing last tournament. I don't know. I don't know. I don't remember what it was. I but feel like it wasn't bad. It's something to talk about uh, when we come for the spring. Maybe we'll have a horse tournament. So We tend to do a little lower buy-in, too, so people yeah. who kind of just show up can jump in and give it a shot. It's of course. fun. Yeah. It's a really good time. On the right side. 
horse is all limit. Mm. And so a lot, a lot of people are more used to playing no limit or pot limit. So it's different, but definitely fun. Noah is a big proponent of is horse. He? Oh, he's, yeah, I, I forgot that. He is a big horse fan. Grill on Twitch said, I really miss playing long live. Guarantees online are just too good a value not to play, especially on a Sunday. Mm. Well, it's a whole different experience playing online as opposed oh, to in person. It's a whole different style of play. And I think live is so much more fun. Mm -hmm. Online? Yeah. Online misses out on the social aspects of it. Foldham wants a, a no limit horse game. Huh? <laughs> Foldham says he wants a no limit horse game. Yeah. <laughs> Would be interesting. But hey, we can do anything. Grinder has a pair. Raised it to 105. Not call seven three. Your house, your rules. That's what uh, Foldham says. Hundred percent. Jamie, go ahead and make an executive decision on that one. <laughs> <laughs> this is the first time you're tuned in. Uh, we're at PBKC, also known as the Palm Beach Kennel Club, right here in West Palm Beach, Florida. We offer full card simulcast, no limit poker, great tournaments that Jamie puts together. Obviously, uh, the Palm Beach Winter Classic here till the twelfth. Uh, we also have. Great high hands. We have a big bad beat jackpot right now, sitting at 142, 142,000. We also have table games with just a $5 minimum. Look at Grinder Stack. It's a monster. Absolute monster stack over there. So he's intimidating enough just by his name. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then oh, he God. has this beast of a stack. Matt Cap is now following us. Thanks for the follow, Matt. Hey, Matt. It's, oh, God, Twan. Twan said it's got girth. Oh, man. What's this? He's, yeah, he's talking about the grinder stack. Yeah, it's a beast. You could build Cinderella's castle with that thing. Oh, no one from his table. What happened here? Trent got a flush, a much needed flush. He did, he needed that one. Juan said he likes how no one from his table last night is here on the final table. Just keep throwing him, kid. There he goes. Trent, it's time for, or uh, Valentino. It's time for Valentino to get lucky. They're getting lucky against him. They it's are. his turn. You deserve one now. Started out doing well, getting good hands uh, as we started the broadcast about yeah. an hour ago, but uh, yeah, not yeah. not lately. No. <laughs> Look at Grinder's chip lead right now, 3.1 million. Good God. Valentino has nine big blinds. Trin has 20. <laughs> Valentino reminiscing about his <laughs> bad beat. Yeah. Grinder does look good at the KC. Valentino, ace queen, send it. There you go. Florida Bonderman, I don't know about that. Uh, he asked, do the tickets take longer after you've acquired a bunch for the uh, for the giveaway on here? I don't know. It's a it's a possibility. Maybe it's trying to slow you down. I have no I idea. Know. It shouldn't. It's, no, I don't think so. So hit um, exclamation point giveaway, okay. and it'll tell you the rules of the of the promotion. Hmm. 
All in. What do you have, Valentino? It's not quite in the box. Kyle's thinking about it with Ace Nine. It's a tough spot with Ace Nine. I'm gonna do it. He's all in for 610. This is what I was talking about. So maybe he's a little on tilt. Mm -hmm. And he just went all in last hand. Now he's all in again. So Kyle was thinking about ace nine. There he got through. You think you folded the best hand? Yeah, we're, we're going to look into that about the uh, the tickets on here. That's something that uh, we can look in through uh, stream elements about why you guys are, some of you guys are having problems in acquiring those tickets. Should be able to hit exclamation enter. I don't see any reason why uh, that wouldn't be lurk, uh, working right now. Oh, someone else said same here? Oh, yeah, no, quite a few people have said that. Let me try to look into uh, stream elements right now and see if I can figure that out for you guys. I'm checking uh, stream elements right now, guys, and check out and see if there's a reason why you guys can't acquire those tickets. Check all the way down. Two pair for Kevin. Gonna bet. Bet and call. Uh, Daniel hit the nine. <laughs> oh, the trophy has arrived. And it is beautiful. It's a beautiful crystal trophy. It's hitting the light nice. It's nice. It's shining. Yeah. The light really hits it beautifully. All right, Mike, we get it. Some of us, some of us have never won. Grinder on the button. No, no, he's not on the button. He's in the hijack. Cut off. Cut off. Kevin's got the button and king queen, so he's going to raise it up a little. Three. I was thinking about it because the button tends to raise with a wider range. He's going to re raise. Now we have a 1,179 tickets purchased for the Winter Classic main event giveaway. Trying to figure out why it's not going to let you guys enter. It's not showing anything is off.
So right now, Kiki has 156 tickets. Mountain Man's got 110. And they can't? I don't know why it would not be letting them uh, continue to enter. Huh. Why don't you guys give it another try, see if it works? Yeah, that might be something that our stream elements guy named Noah is going to have to look into. <laughs> Let's still keep in track of their time. Mm. It's giving one point every 10 minutes, or it should be given 10 points every 10 minutes. Okay. Oh, is that true? Hmm. Unopened pot, grinder in the hijack. We'll raise up ace three off. Kevin's on the button with Queen's. Oh no. Daniel's on the button. And Valentino is. There we go. What am I talking about? Ace three, ace deuce. And Valentino's all in. Under smells of rat. Daniel likes to play. I think he's going to call. Tough spot. So while he has the best hand, he's high. It's fifty-eight forty-two. He called. Oh no, he didn't. He didn't. So I'm looking into stream elements. Go ahead and try that again, guys. I, uh, one Someone of their, just bought. I went in there and messed with it a little bit. Adele is having an easy time buying tickets here. Oh, so really? If you have waited your 10 minutes, try it again and see. Ricky just bought another ticket. Oh, good. Hmm. I don't know why Florida Mountain Man can't do it, though. So Valentino showed that he went all in with 10-4 suited. So probably the next time he moves all in, he'll have something. He's at almost a million chips now. Mm. The 
the grinder and Kyle in a hand. Kyle has him dominated. Oh, it's a slot machine on the flop. Oh, gosh. That's a chop. I don't know, uh, Raynal, uh, Raina. I'm uh, still trying to figure that out. Uh, that's something that we usually have a uh, person that handles those stream elements. And I'm uh, looking through there, and I don't see anything wrong with the system right now. So there was a problem with the the, the tickets or points earlier yeah. or the other day okay and the system can correct it oh, okay at a later time okay so, so the system will yeah system takes knows that you're watching for a certain right. amount of time okay so even if there is an issue today we will have that corrected. oh for sure yeah The label guy, the giveaway is actually a ticket to the main event, which is going to have, what, seven, eight flights? Eight. Eight, eight flights. day one flights. Okay. Two on Wednesday, two on Thursday, Friday, and Saturday nice. at 11 and 7. And then Sunday will be day two at wow. 11 a.m. Yes, yeah, so that's oh, what the giveaway is for. Yep, we're on a break right now. Yeah. What, what is this going to be, about a 15-minute break? Yes. Okay, 15 minute break right now. The grinder's at 3 million. Next is 2 million for Mike. And then we have the next three, 1.7, 1.6, and 1.3. Valentino and Trent are just under a million. This is really anyone's game still. It is. We've lost two players so far since we started the broadcast. Ninth went to Joseph, eighth to Carl. And the next one down ends up finishing in seventh place. Is going to get almost 5,000, 4,981. Then it jumps up to 6,414. Fifth place is 8,381. Fourth place, 11,114. Then we have 14,968, 20,484. And the first place prize, 33,155. It's a car. Mm -hmm. That is, that is. <laughs> it's a, just a car, down payment on a house, whatever you need. Yeah, that, you what, uh, what Jamie was saying earlier, Florida Mount Maine, is that, man, is that uh, Stream Elements does count your time. It counts that you were in here. Uh, so it's uh, our understanding that when the system uh, fixes itself, you will be able to come in here and get those tickets. Because I'm looking at the system right now, and uh, it's not showing that anything's off. Uh, it looks like it's everything is running right. So we're uh, we're uh, just go ahead and uh, come into the chat, and uh, next time you come in, just go ahead and hit exclamation enter. Uh, it should keep your time and everything. While we're sitting here, uh, what have you uh, what have you seen so far today, Jamie, in this tournament? Thank you. So we've had, we haven't had a lot of aggression against the grinder. Okay. Um, people seem to be having a good time and just playing and I don't see anything outrageous going on. There isn't any um, 
anything outstanding at this point where, you know, there's some wild card in the tournament? Mm -hmm. It seems like these are all accomplished players. They've been at a final table before, and they're all playing very well, I have to say. Valentino is doing a great job coming back yeah. from two really nasty hits. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of times that's the end of the tournament for somebody. They just, you, know, you take one hit, you shake it off, the second one really mm -hmm. just crushes yeah. you. Yeah. And, you know, he played like a true professional. He just, he didn't get upset. He didn't let it affect him. I'm not sure what that second all-in hand was. He didn't put it yeah, over. Yeah, we didn't see the cards on that one. Yeah. I would have liked to have seen what that was, but it doesn't matter because it worked. Mm -hmm. um, the 10-4. He showed at the end. It looked like a good spot. You have a couple aggressive players in a hand. Grinder opens in late position. You have the button calling, and he just moved it in. Mm -hmm. It w looked like a good spot, and it was. It was. And so he's kind of brought himself right back up in as a contender in this tournament. He bypassed Trent. Trent has been hanging on with a short stack. He, he has. has. He got a couple hands right in the beginning, mm -hmm. and nothing since no. then. Nope. And so he's going to need a hand soon. But he still has 17 big blinds. He does. He's not in any jeopardy at this mm -hmm. point. But with the stack size, so he has 945. The grinder has three million. Three million. He could certainly take a bite out of him, but mm -hmm. you're gonna get to where people can afford to call you. Yeah. And you don't want that all the time. Take a look at the website while we're here. Uh, if you haven't gone to our website lately, at pbkennelclub.com, it's a wealth of information of everything going on here at PBKC. <laughs> Whether you're looking for schedules, uh, tournament schedules, the best part about here this and. The only reason I'm saying that is because I, I really honestly do feel this way. As you click on poker, uh, when you go to the poker side of our website, it's just everything you need to know. Uh, that's where you're going to get the updated jackpots with the bad beat. Uh, it's going to tell you about the high hand promotions we have. Uh, check out the upcoming events, including the full schedule for the Palm Beach Winter Classic right here. It's going to let you know the tournament schedule the entire month. Uh, also, if you go down to this section, uh, the reason I love this section so much, because I know the person that puts it in here, uh, she's <laughs> actually sitting right next to me right now, uh, but it is uh, everything you need to know. When anybody ever asks me uh, for a structure sheet or more information on the tournament, I always just send them right here to the poker page on our website. You can click on structures of all the tournaments we have. Uh, there's a payout schedule, uh, so many different things. Uh, right here on our website, pbkennelclub.com, and just click on poker. It's also a great place to go if you're entering these tournaments and accumulating player appreciation points. She's also going to have that updated. And how often do you update that, Jamie? On almost a daily basis, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Jamie's on the computer updating all the information at 6 a.m. Uh, that's when I'm also putting out all my social media posts. So all you have to do is go right here to our website, pbcandleclub.com, and click on poker. If you're not following us on social media, we have a Facebook page at PB Kennel Club. Instagram is pbkc underscore West Palm Beach. That's a new page I created. Uh, we also have two Twitters, two Twitters at uh, PB Kennel Club at Twitter and PBKC Poker Room on Twitter. Uh, we also have a LinkedIn, just search PBKC. We have us. <laughs> we also now have a TikTok. There's a lot of social media. I'm addicted here. to TikTok. Oh, TikTok is awesome. Uh, it is. But I sit down, I look at this little video clip, yeah. and three hours later, I stand well, up and I want to know what happened it's to my day. It's just too time consuming. <laughs> it is. And now that I'm but actually it's so making it, it is. And now that I'm making TikToks, uh, my wife is just realizing how annoying it is that I'm on TikTok <laughs> all the time because when you're now making TikToks, it's something that you need to be able to, to know what's hot out there and you need to understand kind of what the viral videos are. But I the, heard ours, yeah. our, the first one you made had yeah. like 100,000 views. Oh, yeah. That's it the was thing. insane. It's just, you never know what's going to take off. And yeah. I, I put a video on there yesterday that immediately as soon as I posted it had like 300 views. I think it's up to like 1,500, which in TikTok world, that's honestly not that much no. because yeah. some of these creators will get millions and millions of videos within an hour and, and views and likes but uh, we're just starting out on tiktok pbkc underscore pb kennel club uh, to go on to tiktok noah is on his way 
to uh, to figure out this situation with stream elements. Awesome. It's something we take very seriously here. The only reason uh, I can't look more into it is because we're doing a show right now, but Noah is going to definitely look into this. Uh, he's the one who set up that uh, giveaway, and uh, he's going to get to the bottom of this uh, within the next few hours here. Yeah. Thank you for watching us right here on twitch.tv slash pvkcpoker. I have a little sneak peek. Okay. Um, we have a mini promotion coming up. We are introducing a Sunday tournament, which a lot of our players have been asking okay. about. Um, they want to stay close, and they've been saying, Jamie, get us a Sunday tournament. So I did. Oh, wow. And so our point promotion will begin on December 13th. Okay. And it will run through till December 23rd. Okay. During that time span, we have 10 days of tournaments. Nice. In those 10 days, we have a promotion worth $10,000. Oh, wow. That's huge. That is. Um, and so what we are going to do is we are going to give away 60 tickets mm. to our new Sunday tournament. They can be used on December 26th or January 2nd. Okay. One of our first, one of the first two Sunday tournaments. Okay. And so um, I need one final approval, but I've gotten it through everywhere else. And I think we're going to be good to go. Watch the website for full details. Um, there may be a little cash up top as well okay. for the highest point earners because I like to reward them a little bit. Yeah. Um, but I think it'll be a really good time. And, um, oh, Noah says simple fix. He says simple fix, yeah, I've, I've looked at it. Uh, I'm, I'm not the one who set it up. Uh, and the stream elements is, uh, it's kind of confusing when, uh, when you're dealing with all these different buttons you can press. But uh, Noah's gonna figure that out if he hasn't already done so. And hopefully everybody's back to, to buying tickets now. I know uh, certain people, as in Ricky has a bunch, I know that uh, Florida Mountain Band has a bunch. We don't want you to lose those tickets. You can accumulate up to 200 tickets. And if you have no idea what I'm talking about, hit exclamation giveaway uh, for all the information. But it's to get a ticket to one of the eight flights that we're going to have for the main event. And that's two on Wednesday, two on Thursday, two on Friday, and two on Saturday. And I can't wait to do some more feature tables that we're going to do right here on Twitch and YouTube next week. Or actually this week. It's Sunday, isn't it? We're losing track of days. I mean, it's it's been such a busy week here at PBKC. It is Sunday. We had a lot going on. We had the card show a week ago, last Sunday, right here in the second floor of Poker Room. We started the tournament here on Wednesday. Uh, Thursday, we had Andrew Dice Clay in the paddock. That was fun. It was a sold-out show. Yeah, you were that there. That was heard, huge. Yeah, it was. Everybody was running around because it was a sold-out show. It was absolutely packed. We actually added seats for that show because we had so we many did. people. It was over 400 people in the paddock. Easy. Packed. Packed. Uh, everybody enjoyed it. Uh, the opening act was absolutely amazing. This woman named Eleanor Kerrigan that travels with Dice Man. Uh, Andrew Dice Clay was as good as he's always been. Everybody was uh, really enjoying it. And the great food in the paddock, too. Yeah. And then, uh, obviously, we've been doing these final tables. We did the 50K final table on Friday, which was won by uh, Mark and Tuan. Uh, Mark got the trophy. Uh, I'm sure he's broken it by now. <laughs> and and, and Tuan, so. Tuan got the money. You, you know you believe me when I say that, too, don't do. you? We love Mark. Oh, Mark's the best. <laughs> But yeah, yeah I only say stuff about him because I'm such a fan. I like yeah, that guy, guy so much. He's he is. the best. He is. He's a super good guy. He is. And he's a regular on our stream. He is. Yeah. He used to he's play in one of the cash games. Yes, yeah. he's, he's yeah. very versatile. He plays in cash games. He used to play PLO with us, plays in tournaments. I mean, he's been on for some big tournaments, too. He was with A bunch of them. He was on the one that uh, Maurice won, uh, the last classic, uh, the summer classic he main was. event. So he was. He's on here all the time. He is a fixture on the... The, the live stream and uh, we love having Mark on here. Yeah, he's been playing the Saturday tournament, he has. making a few final tables there. It's a good player. We're on break right now. It's not going to be too much longer. We're talking just a couple of minutes before they uh, come back to the table. That was a 15 minute break, I'm guessing, Jamie? Yes, okay. they all are 15 minutes. Okay, that's the uh, chip count that's been up there for a while, the grinder. It's crushing. Be pretty intimidating to look up at <laughs> three million right there in that seat. Yeah, grinder crushing dreams. Mike's got two million. Kevin at one point seven. Looks like we're about to get started again. 
So the chips that you see in play, the reds are 5,000. Okay. The yellow is 25,000. And the pinks, which are my favorite, yes. 100,000. Nice. Yeah. What's the nickname for the pinks? Do you have a nickname for those? I don't know that there is one. Man. They look like Starburst to me. They really do. I don't know that there is. The color reminds me of. The players are start, starting to head back. Thank you, everybody, who's joining us here on twitch.tv slash pbkcpoker. If you're just joining us, this is the final table of event number four, which was a four-flight weekend tournament with 150K guarantee. Started off with, what was that, 565 people? Correct. Now we're down to the top, what is it, seven, seven. now? We're down to the top seven here on the live stream table on twitch.tv and also on YouTube. On YouTube, search PBKC Poker. YouTube's fun because we have a lot of people that will send me messages and they're watching it on their big screen at home. And it's yeah. it's, it's great. You're it sitting is. there on a on a Friday night or a Saturday night or a Thursday afternoon watching poker live from PBKC. I'm such a poker nerd, I watch it. Yeah, you same day for like sixty five. Some people give you seventy. If you have the green face anniversary now, it goes to like seventy five. But it never comes and then the store never has it. Oh, we're back. Yeah, we are. And we're going. Yeah. Time waits for no one. Now the grinders in the big blind. 30, 60 are the blinds. 30,000, 60,000 with a 60,000 big blind Annie. Mike's in the hijack. Ace 10 off. And it's going up. Min plus a smidge. Looks like Adele's got a cheat code in the here, just buying tickets at random. <laughs> I think that's all the time that uh, Adele has saved up. Yeah. The grinder out plops him. Oh. Tables have turned. is full for Mike. There is zero chance he will be folding. Mm -hmm. The grinder may call. Two aces are better than one in his situation, even though, in fact, Mike does have that third ace. Get away. I would probably call. If there's two aces out there, it's less likely that he has an ace. I'd call with my king. <laughs> Juan says you're going to win the ticket. Yeah. I'll give it to you if I win it, Juan. He's not going to need it. He's going to be in it anyway. Yeah. Oh, he's already in it. Oh, of course he is. Yeah, he's of point. He, is. he won the point promotion. Oh, was he the point? It. Was he the point guy? Okay, so he got three grand and a ticket to the. No, uh, he wasn't number one. Oh, but he, wasn't he certainly one, was, so he was in, in the, the top ten. In the range, oh, top good. fifty. Oh, top fifty got top a ticket. 50. Wow. Our well, promotions are very generous. We give generous. out a lot of stuff here. We do. We do. Um, for this, it was a two-month promotional period. We gave to the top 50 point earners okay. a $570 main event ticket. Nice. And 51 through 100 
received a $350 ticket for this oh, tournament. Oh, great, yeah. Um, in addition to that, the top 10 received cash prizes starting at 3000 working its way down to 100 um, Oh, he got away. That's why he's a pro exactly. and I work. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. That's why you have to, uh, to work for a living. I would have called for sure. Oh, for sure. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Grinder's still up at top at uh, 2.8 million. Oh, Adele was just running out her points. She didn't All have any special po codes. All the points. There she goes. Yep. What are the payouts, Mike? You have the payouts, yeah, right? Yeah, well, the payouts. Uh, I can get you the payouts right now, actually. First place, 33,155. A uh, second place, twenty thousand four eighty four. Got it all in right now. That's Valentino. Valentino. That's your guy. Pocket nines. You know, he survived a tough spot. He did. I like it. Oh. Yes, call. He <laughs> say. So what's the worst they can do now? What is seventh place? Uh, seventh say? place is four thousand nine eighty one, just a little bit under five thousand. Uh, sixth place six thousand four fourteen. Fifth place eight thousand three eighty one. Fourth is eleven thousand one fourteen. Third place is uh, just under fifteen thousand. Uh, second place uh, twenty thousand four eighty four. First place over thirty three thousand dollars. Nice. Ricky says Kevin's going to win. Called it. Kevin. talking about Kevin in seat number nine. Seat number nine, okay. Oh, Kevin's in 10. Oh, okay. Yeah, the grinder's okay. in nine. That's why it's, uh, it, it's because we only went nine handed on the player yeah. info sheet, it says seat number nine. Yeah, you're yeah. right. All right, Kevin. Tuan's picking you. And Kevin has ace jack. And a raise with his ace jack. Daniel suspicious. He's gonna look him up. Ooh, nice flop for queen seven. Flopped open at it with two live cards. Kevin's still slightly ahead, statistically. Ace Jack is going to call. <coughs> Give him a float, see what happens on the turn. They both have a flush draw. Kevin's is better. Daniel fires again. 200,000. Now Kevin's hand improved, so he's gonna stick around. Kevin will win if, in fact, he does not fold. Oof. That's not as easy to call. Tenacity won that. Ricky says snap it. No snapping. Half a million's hard to just plunk in with ace high. Yeah, just I just realized the... Uh, Kevin, uh, who uh, Ricky picked to win the whole thing, was uh, a wrestling fan. He has a Stone Cold Steve Austin t-shirt on, so. How amazing. Got to show some respect for Stone Cold. There you go. Wish I would have known I would have played the glass breaking music when he came back to the table. 
Absolutely. I don't know the reference, we're, but I'm with you. We're going to get there someday. We're going to have theme songs for everyone and everything. It's gonna I be like, like it. I like it's gonna it. It's going to be like wrestling. They're going to come out to their theme, smoke and mist, and yeah, oh, we're going to have a belt. <laughs> See, that's one of the things we're missing, and I think you would totally agree, a big dog belt. I like the big dog because belt. Because you know the first big dog, he'd still be wearing his. <laughs> you know? I know it. We made him wait so long for his trophy. Exactly. He waited six months for his trophy, so we should have given Sorry him a belt, too. Sorry again, Steve. Yeah. I was uh, home very, very sick with COVID. Yeah, I understand <laughs> that. that. I remember those days. Oh. We have a pot. Unless Mike, there, no, he's just going to call. He wants in. Four ways to the flop. That's a lot for a final table. It is. Four-way action to the flop. Haven't seen this yet today. Mike flops himself top pair. He's going to check it. Grinder, are you going to take a shot? No, too many people. Kevin says, me either. No help for anyone. I guess it gives Daniel a gut shot and Mike a gut shot. Daniel's going to bet it. I don't think he's going to lose Mike with that. Ricky says action turn. Yeah. King Jack for Grinder. A gut shot's a, a long shot. Mm -hmm. But still, if he hit it, ooh, he went up 350. Daniel's going to let it go. Two twenty five to call. Apologize for the noise in the background there. 15 minutes ago, there must have been a pretty exciting horse race going on. <laughs> can only imagine the guy jumping up and down, hit himself in the butt with a program. Yeah endearing to me. My father used to stand and watch football games and just oh, yeah. yell at the TV. Yeah, I don't even realize like I'm getting like yeah. animated, but sometimes I do the same thing. As expected, call from Mike. Check. I don't think Grinder can get him off this. in. Whoa. Oh. If you could get him off, this is the only way. I don't know, though. Mm. I think he's going to call. You think so? I do. His hand is so strong. So, Grinder has to have Full house or Jack 10 mm. to beat him. He doesn't have King Queen or Ace Queen because he would have bet them on the flop, I would say. It's just so much pressure. Raina says he has to call, right? I think he will. But so he doesn't want to call. He doesn't want to call it off in this spot and lose all that potential money up top. That's the beauty of he's tournament. Talking. Yeah, he's talking. He's, he's, talking gonna, to he's looking at the pay schedule. He's looking at the pay sheet. He's going to decide he's not good enough to fold, and he's going to be happy about that. It takes a lot of guts to move in mm -hmm. with King High there. Yeah. That's why the grinder's a world champ. 
just think that queen, he can't put him on that queen. I perfect, think... perfect Tate's looking for a call. What's that? Perfect Tate is in the chat looking for a call. Yeah. I think he just, he's going to just be frustrated and mm -hmm. say, he probably won't put any chips in. He'll just say call. Yeah. That's his whole tournament life on the line there. You have to imagine, he's played about 15 hours of poker to get here, and he can lose it all if he does the wrong exactly. move here. However, if he finds the call, he will be chip leader. Khalil Mack says, having a jack makes it a snap call, in my opinion. It, there's no snap call here. Yeah. If you're sitting in that seat, there's no snap call. Khalil said, he also said it's going to fold. He's going to fold and it's going to be terrible. Oh, uh, no. He folded. No. Uh, oh, oh, man. He's going to, he showed it to him. Yep. He showed him a queen. Yep. He showed him king high. It's just so much money on the line it was. there. Shake it off, Mike. Yeah. Things like that ruin tournaments for people. <laughs> exactly. Don't let them make you crazy. Tattoo guys here. That is Linnell. How you doing, buddy? <laughs> That's his horse. That's my horse. <laughs> <laughs> Juan, he's not going to be out next. Although, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> you just uh, had to enter, had exclamation enter. It has to be one word, exclamation enter. And you're entered to win a ticket to the final, the big one, $300,000 guarantee main event of this Winter Classic. Hey, wish you were here too, Linnell. He gave it a shot. I'm sure he'll try our main event too. Seven four suited against Queen Ten. That's a nice flop for seven four, Mike. Dal Jr., thanks for following us. There it is. That's a little wheel. Ricky says, see, now he's playing 7-4 out of position. That worked out. It worked out. He's like, where's your all-in now? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So if Mike makes the call mm -hmm. and Grinder turns over Jack-10, he's an idiot. Yeah. You know, or pocket eights for eights full. Um, it's always easy to come up with those with the right answer when you know the cards mm -hmm. in play. Yeah. So hard when your tournament is yeah. on the line. Oh, I can't even imagine the kind of pressure that, that put on him. Brutal. Adele said, Mike will shake it off. I think so, too. I hope so. That is the end of tournaments sometimes mm -hmm. when you miss yeah. that big hit. We'll see. Oh, look. Speak of the devil, Grinder has Jack 10. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and he could have easily had it last time, yep. too. Kevin went all in for 925 with a 7 offsuit. Could have something to do with uh, Grinder. Valentino, you had 10 4 suited. But he went all in before. I think the grinder is going to fold. To be real, I was, I was, I mean, I had that, but I go.
tattoo guy knows the grinder pretty well. Said grinder's been doing this for years, making people sweat in their pants is normal to him. Yeah. Well, I mean, the thing of it is, if grinder flopped a set, yeah. he would have taken the check to allow somebody mm -hmm. to catch up. Yeah. Then on the turn, he bet. Yeah. Mike's hand was extremely underrepresented. Mm -hmm. um, he checked call there. Yeah. And, or actually, no, I'm sorry. See, one bet, yeah. he flat it, then the grinder brought it up, mm -hmm. and he called. Yeah. So still not rep representing much. I think if the grinder knew he had three queens, he wouldn't have done it. Yeah, of course. <laughs> yeah, uh, Dow Jr., all you have to do is hit exclamation enter. One word, exclamation enter, and you're entered to win a ticket to the main event, which is a $570 ticket uh, to one of the flights of the main event there's two wednesday two thursday two friday and two saturday and the main event final table will be next sunday one week from now oh wow that was first and second place too So yeah, I didn't realize Mike had so many chips. Yeah, no. two, I believe he had, he started that hand with about yeah. two million. Yeah. Tattoo guy said, Kevin is a good guy. Glad to see players from down south to join us at our paradise up here. More to come. Yeah. Yeah, I got to give, uh, I got to give the, one of our hosts a lot of credit for that. Jamie's doing a fantastic job with these tournaments. Thank and I think you. a lot of people uh, that haven't come to PBKC in a long time or coming back. I love it. I love it. I want to build this tournament program up. Yeah, and you're doing a great job. Yeah, we are. Everything is, we're building, we're growing. We recently, well, not recently, it's been about two or three months now. Yeah. We basically doubled all of our tournament chip stacks. So That's they're awesome. all deep stack tournaments. Yeah. You have a good understanding and, and listen to the players, and I think that's one of the best parts about what we have going on here now. Thank you. Aggression wins. Bet everything. Bet everything. Bet everything. A bad draw, bet it, take it down. Get King High out of there. And position is everything. Mm -hmm. Yep. There's the payouts, 33, 155 for the winner. Next one out gets almost five grand. And it jumps up to over 6,400. Then almost 2,000 to 8,381. Suspect, a call under the gun. Mike's like, what do I do with deuces here? Do I just call? Yeah, let's see if we can get through. Valentino might hop in. No, he's out. Kyle, garbage, garbage. Grinder with king, queen suited. What do you do in this spot, Grinder? Do you raise it with the limp under the gun? Sure do. Do tell us what you have, Daniel. Put those cards on that box. I would imagine he's at least calling. 520. Mm. Like I have to has. know what those cards yeah, are. Yeah, I'd like to know what he has for sure. It's always suspect it when is. somebody comes in under the gun. Mm -hmm. Tattoo guy says, no lumping, not in his nature. Well, it gave him information about the hand. Mm -hmm. He was limping with a. a 
suspected monster. Here he comes. 520. Bet called. Top pair for the grinder. So now what do you do? Check, check. Okay. Oh, shit. Ooh. <laughs> Whoopsie. Yeah. Yeah. Sure would like to know what Daniel has right about now. I would love to know. Oh, man. But it's not yeah. going to be quad kings. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Mattichelle asked, do you have to show? Yeah, on the show, we'd love you to put your cards in the box. Yeah. Like we to know what know. he has, yeah. I'm dying to know right now. Maybe queens? Aces. Ace Jack. That is what I was talking about before. Yeah. Two are better than one. Mm -hmm. The first king scared him. The second king made him feel better. Yeah. So he called him on the river. That was a big hand. Huh? Noah just showed up. Yeah, Noah's here. He probably enjoyed the game today. Dealer Brent just came in. Yeah, the jersey everybody was talking about at the beginning of the show. Yeah. We have some spectators watching our stream now. So who's who of our poker, <laughs> poker tournaments here? All right, so what I miss? Oh, my. Quite <laughs> was it more bit. exciting in a dolphin game? Because giants stink. So... <laughs> Yes, it is. Yes, it is, in my opinion. Um, so, so we started with nine. Okay. We're down to seven. Our next prize, our payout, will be just under $5,000, and the top is around 33. We saw the grinder pull off a huge bluff. He's in first place. Okay. I, I did catch a bluff, so I'm driving in. What better thing? And it don't, I don't condone twitching and driving, <laughs> but I had it playing in the background, and... I watch him get that bluff through, and I guess it was a good two or three minutes before no, it, it was, went through. Yeah, and, it was a while. And so my thought on this, somebody, somebody in chat said scared money doesn't make money. No, that's not. The grinder's been here before. Yeah. Seven, 17 million, whatever the number is, I forget, like in tens of millions in winnings. Like he, he, he can make those plays because the, the money, it's not, it, there, there's levels to everything. It's like. You of know, if, if you play a one-two game or, two, uh, you know, if you play a $100 buying tournament or a $10,000 buying tournament, it's different. Yeah. But to somebody else, it's relevant where it's like 10000 Yeah, sure, that's like $100 buying. So 100%. it affects things, and it, the grinder knows it. He knows it. But here's the thing. I mean, this is number one moving all in against number two. If he calls and it's wrong, it costs him $30,000 potentially. That's a tough spot. Nah. So, so you try to keep the mentality, I think. You try to keep the mentality, play the game, and forget absolutely everything else. Play the game. So once you, okay, so you make the final table. Now you're climbing the ladder a bit, but then you hit a hand that is essentially a difference maker for the whole tournament. So if you have the hand, you get the hand. If you lose it in a spot where, with a spot like that, then you just lose. You just, you just lose. That's it. <laughs> and then you go home. You just lose. Read, that's, that's it. You it. lose, and then you go home. And it's not your fault, but... You didn't make a mistake. His hand was so underrepresented that I thought he was going to call. So he Valentino, uh, I'm not familiar with Valentino, so we see some of the players here. Any colossal meltdowns, or did anybody have a whole bunch of chips and just fire them off? So <laughs> Valentino got hit by back-to-back -back bad beats okay. and survived it. So I think he's playing great, like serious bad beats. Um, a lot of players would have been out after what he went through, but he's doing well. Yeah. He survived a nasty little run. So Kyle's all in. Valentino, see? Valentino all in with Queens. Yeah. Kyle, Ace, Jack, 1.1 million, and he can't make the call. So it's that thing again, pressure. You know, you can't, you can't make plays in, in certain spots at, at, at yeah. 
where we're at right now. You just can't. You can't get funny. Don't get creative. No. Don't try to be a hero because you only get one chance being a hero. I That's mean, unless it. you're the grinder, he has all the chips, so he could be a hero twice, two or three times. <laughs> Let him handle that. That's a, typically that's what I like to try to do is stay out of the way of him and then hope that he picks off the small stacks, try to move up the ladder. So that's what happened where one and two got involved with each other. He had to go away. He had to go away. So the starting hand, what was his starting hand that he got himself in trouble with? Um, this? With, with this hand, with the grinder where he came over so top. So he had queen jack. Okay, so you're at queen jack. And was it raised? Did grinder raise? So it was raised a little bit. Yeah. And it was four players to the flop. Yeah. And it came queen high. Yeah. He's in the big blind. Small blind is in. So he's second out of four to act. He checks his queen. Okay. Checks around. Yeah. The turn puts the most people in a position for a gut shot. The small blind bet, Mike called, the grinder raised, representing jack 10, which would have been straight. Right, and then the queen came on the end. Queen comes on the bad end. Car, well, a good card for him, but in his head, he thinks it's a bad card for him. because well, He trips, checked, yeah. and the grinder shoved. That's so, it. That's how I think more what he was concerned with was that the grinder flopped a small set. Right. And then he would check a set on the flop and get on the turn he's going to raise and do all this different right. stuff. So put all that aside. Try not to get involved in that. So don't be in that situation at all is, yeah. is, is, the, is the goal, I believe. He bets the flop. He wins the hand. So we're in a situation again where the grinder with the chips, 4.8 million, and he has a flush draw. Effectively take a third of his stack to try to eliminate a player. So he's going to try to put a little pressure here. And, and it's hard to play defensive like this. Now, so after that hand, at the end of that hand, okay. where Grinder bluffed, he showed it. So I think he has to put the brakes on a little bit if he doesn't have it. Right. Yeah. You see, you know, the nice thing about having a big stack of table is you're not really at risk to go out in one hand. The other right. thing is, like this hand just played out, people don't bet into you because it, it's just bad news. Right. They can't afford to bet into you because now they'll always, they you could be at out. risk for your whole stack at any time. So he's the grinder's been here many, many times before playing a gigantic stack. So it, it's going to be a little, a little bit of a lesson in uh, the big stack ninja. He let the grinder see the board for free. If he put pressure on the grinder, the grinder might just put them all in. Correct. Then he has to find out if King Ten is good. <laughs> right. <laughs> and you want to do that again <laughs> no. when there's thirty something thousand up top. Yeah. And now you're making a decision. So yeah, yeah it gets tough. So uh, somebody was asking in the chat uh, to explain how I got banned by Alan Kessler. Um, what? On Twitter, it was a big thing. You it was did? actually it was actually a pretty big deal on Twitter. It was it was kind of nuts yesterday. What? So after watching these streams, and I, I watch how the grinder plays and some of these other guys plays and massing these big stacks. So we have, hold on real quick. We have a player all in, Kevin, with sevens. One point one million. Yeah. And he picks up two hundred k. So, so I'm a fan of. Play enough hands, get enough chips, try to win a tournament rather right. than try to just make the money and then see if I could get lucky in a couple of spots, hang on until back into a, a, a spot and, and you have to have your make a few gas. bucks. So everybody knows Alan. Everybody knows how Alan plays. Alan plays super tight. But what Alan does is when he plays super tight and he catches a bad beat, he posts it on Twitter and says, I do all this work and I lose with this hand. Okay, oh, we okay. get it. We all lose with those hands. So I posted, very simple, if you play more hands early, and you amass chips early, you can withstand a couple of those. And I'm not lying. And that's okay, all I said. Get some chips, and you can handle a couple of those beats. I totally agree. He insta-banned me. Then he posted my Hendon mob to show everybody my Hendon mob. And he tried, to, <laughs> he tried to rally the troops and get everybody fired up. But the thread what? had so much support in my direction that it was absolutely ridiculous. Wow. So go ahead, look for it. I'm going to check Give it out. Give Alan the business a little bit. <laughs> we, have, we, we officially have beef now. And it's nothing new. <laughs> <laughs> um, not me with beef, with Alan, with people with beef. I'm, I'm just, I'm just yeah. giving my two cents, putting a little comment in there. Well, you know. um, here's another all in. And no call. But it actually stems from something I said a month ago on Twitter. Alan was talking about the World Series Poker. And he was complaining about, quote unquote, his words, foreigners. What? So I responded and I said, 
maybe it's not polite to call the people for the World Series of Poker foreigners. It's the World Series of Poker. It's not the United States Series of Poker. Right. It's they're the not world foreigners. Series. It's the world. Right. You're not. Nobody's a foreigner in the world. We all live here. Of course. So I posted something, and then Poker Go took it, wrote an article, and used oh, my tweet in there. Okay. So it's going back a little back and forth now. You so. Know, um, I think he needs to just let some things go. He doesn't. No. Oh, forget it. Uh, and Jimmy could comment all day on it. Jimmy, Jimmy's got some. Wow. So. It's fine, whatever. I mean, and yeah, he posts my hand to mom up there, and <laughs> I don't play. I, but no, I mean, you play I'll, a couple horse tournaments here and there. But I will put my career earnings in poker against Allen's okay. <laughs> overall. Okay. Career poker on the side of business as well. <laughs> Let's compare <laughs> earnings. I don't want anybody pulling up my hand to mom. I think I have $300 on there right. or something. But you have career earnings in poker. You do it on the business side. Yeah, That's what yeah, we do. Yeah. We don't pretend to be players. I don't no. pretend to be a player. No. I do play, sometimes not well. <laughs> right, right. And I don't play, and I'm there, like, yeah. I'm there to give out bad beats sometimes. I don't know. Yeah, I have fun. Anyway, speaking of bad beats, Trubisky uh, is our dealer today. <laughs> so someone's going to call the floor on that dealer, <laughs> on that shirt. So what happened to, I missed, what happened to James? James. Oh, I think he was out earlier. He yeah. did not make the Okay, final he had a monster stack. He did was, he? he was, well, at one point yesterday on the stream, yeah, so I guess he did. You know what? You live by the fire, you die by the fire. He's probably, That's it. probably playing very aggressive. Play your hands. And he was playing right. for first He's not going to Alan Ke Kessler no. himself and just get blinded out. Oh, an Alan <laughs> Kessler. <laughs> it will be officially known. You just let your stack dwindle away, yeah. and you get blinded out, and you lose the tournament, you Alan Kessler yourself. <laughs> Alan, maybe you write should that have left down. them all alone. <laughs> 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 write it down. I got Alan Kessler. Uh, yeah, I Alan Kessler myself. I just called off little bits and then I whittled myself away. <laughs> I probably should have taken a stand for myself at some point and fired my stack in, but I didn't. Yeah. I just Alan Kessler it away. <laughs> anyway. I Alan Kessler it away. That's a riot. No crying in poker. So thirty something thousand up top. What's the next jump? Because they're going to start. Twenty thousand. Okay, the next one's up to twenty. What are we at? What's for? Uh, what's the next guy out? Six players, three, four, five, six players, seven players. So six, seventh is how much? Give me one second. I am pulling that up for you. All this information is in our schedule. You can view the results, the structure. Let's see. So first place is $33,155. Okay. Second is $20,484. Third, $14,968. Fourth is $11,114. Fifth is $8,381. Sixth is $6,414. Seventh is 4,981. All right, 4,009 and then six. So, you, yeah, you pick up a 1,000 or so, right, on the next jump. Yeah. Yeah. So 4,000, yeah, about $1,500 is the difference between seventh and eighth. So uh, people are asking in the chat about the points so there is an ability to go back, make sure the points are correct. So I will do that after yeah. the event. We'll work on that tomorrow. We'll get everybody called up. Um, let's see. So, yeah, right now. So the, the player in question was who? Who was asking? I think there was a couple. Yeah, there's a couple. Uh, so we're able to audit it and double check it and fix it. So, all right. So Florida Mount Man currently has 110 tickets. Okay. So when I look at Florida Mountain Man real quick and look at his watch time, I can see how many minutes he has accumulated. So the system the other day was glitchy and it gave him enough per minute. So he's way ahead of schedule. So what the system is waiting for him is to catch up on minutes now. So he has to catch up on minutes to get there. So I'll make sure that's adjusted. I can tell how many minutes he watched and give him the proper tickets. So we'll go through. We'll order all. Florida Mountain Man, you're doing great. You have a ton of tickets. Uh, you're good to go. 
and you'll be able to get more once once you pay your you, you owe us some points basically oh we have an all in daniel is all in with ace jack in the small blind so you're grinding made at 165 yes and then it's all in and he, he's just yeah mike is calling the 220 in the hopes of oh I don't believe Grinder can re-raise. He can't, but if he could, he would. <laughs> and it's going to be... Daniel's all in for three. It's going to be three-way action, it looks like. Three players. I, I can't see the Grinder just... I think he's going to do the right thing. He's just going to call. So it was... Uh, yeah, he can raise. He can, but I think... And he does. He, he goes all, all in. in. So here we go. So, so it's so sick. So now Mike... Uh, Mike... Mike's just going to push him off. Yeah, oh, he pushes Mike off. So yeah, now he's gone. He was hoping to have two against one. Correct. Yeah, I don't know if the play is. Do you call there and check check? But the grinder knows. Like, let me just get all the chips because I have heaps of it. He's not afraid. He's not trying to move up the ladder. Oh, it doesn't matter what happened there. No. Uh, unless he had a heart. Did he have a heart? He had he a heart. He did have the yeah, ten there he hearts. Is. He would have won. Um, so that's what, so Mike says, I saved you. But is it a situation where you call, check, 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 you're at a tournament? I mean, this is a lot of money up top. It's all about getting those chips. Right, so another player, so again, that same thing. So depending on how relevant 30,000 is to you. I also think the grinder's not playing for seventh place. Someone else no, is. he's playing for first. Right, but... I think I like that he went all in there. Put everybody Someone's keep get it. put everybody to test all the time. Just yes. keep the pressure on. Them. Oh, they're the they, so the the fan bit the somehow the grinder is interacting with my my personal guest that went to the Giants game with and. Uh, I'm, I'm assuming they're going to be busting my chops here at some point <laughs> or something. Uh, is he a Giants fan? Uh, so here we go. So we do have a little, and it's nice to see the gallery, and next week we'll see even a bigger gallery. Yeah. Um, like players on the rail watching. I um, think it's great. Friends, family. Um, you would see more if we didn't have the stream because some, some of the people watch at home. When we didn't have the stream, there's more people. Yeah. So this is going to be a big hand. It is. Daniel's all in again. And we don't see Valentino's cards. Has that been a thing? Um, once or twice. I think once before. See Paul? No, we'll never see him. We'll never, we'll never, ever know. Ever. That was just a big blind hand. Ever, ever, ever. Nope. The world will never know. Although. So, what a great second guaranteed event. This isn't even a main event. Correct. We're having all this fun now. Wait until next week. I can't wait. It's going to be I can't fun. wait for the final table of that. Exciting, awarding out this much So, money. Khalil Mack 1738 asked how big the prize pool was. It was over. It was 157 um, plus. 157,000 and change. Um, today, we paid. We will have paid out over 152,000. Amazing. The way Poker Executives does it, they pay into the flights. Mm -hmm. So that 5,000 was paid out in the flights. That additional 5,000 that's missing. I was just thinking I wanted the chip counts. Trent well, here we go. Grinder, 4.2. Yep. 1.6. Kyle at 1.5. So, okay, so it's Grinder and the field. So, Grinder. 4.2 right. million. It's Grinder and the field. So, grinder and the field. So, the bet would probably be right now. If I, I'm going to set a line on this. So, you would set a line. It would be, the, you would get, you, you could either have the Grinder or the field. And maybe I'll. I'll give you even money. You probably need more than even money if I have the grinder. You probably you need a better bet than that. Like, it's yeah. Odds are, 
and, he, and especially it. and he picks up queen, so you know. Play well, run well. He hasn't been given great hands though. He's making it happen. Uh, right, and I and I yeah I, I compare it to an MMA fighter on a feature table that he just wears him down. He keeps yeah. his elbow on his face and he's rubbing it and he's like got him like just he has the commanding position all the time. Yeah. And then it just he just wears him down. So here you know he's picking up little pots and picking up blinds here and picking up annies. And, and he takes chances other people just aren't willing to take. Moving it in on the second place player, all in with King High is a tough thing to do. Yeah, he's, yeah. He's an anti Alan Kessler, <laughs> if I had to say. He is the polar opposite of the chainsaw. That's it. Like, <laughs> Don't needle Noah. He's coming back. <laughs> He's coming gonna, back. I know I'm going to get it. He's I'm just not get having it. it. I'm going to get it. <laughs> Somebody's going to go. Just Noah does not shy away from an argument. Not when I'm just trying to make a point. <laughs> Gently trying to make a point. Like no, not well. Now I'm not trying to make a point. Now I'm trying to make multiple points. But yeah. Um, no, it's a, it's a good comparison. I, I want <laughs> I want I want the players to understand there's a difference between all these things. Like yeah. the, some of the moves and the plays are making. We're, this is here to educate players. And I've seen the best players. They have an advantage because they're aggressive. Aggression wins, period. It does. Hands down. Because all, all the pots you pick up and all the money, free money that you pick up, that starts to add up. And that's the difference. So you're going to get the same amount of aces as grinder. Yes. But Everyone's the other gonna... hands where you don't, where you play your position, you pick up the pots, that's the difference. It is. And he really hasn't had. I mean, he's not being dealt aces and kings every hand. He's made his own luck. Make your own luck, right? Yep. Luck is what happens when preparation meets opportunity. Correct. <laughs> so here we are. Grinder fully prepared. Trent has ace king. Trent ah. is playing playing his cards. Me or you, you have a pair. Oh no. Uh, well, sixty forty. Ace king versus queen ten. Okay. Oh, Seem, seems not way, anymore. Not, oh, definitely not anymore. Yeah. Uh -huh. Ace King takes it. That's it. So Trent doubles up. Uh, yes. Mike still has chips left, I believe. Punishment. Punishment for not calling. Did uh so and the grinder showed his hand. What was the reaction? He showed, well, Mike first showed his queen yeah. and threw it away, and then Grinder showed him the king jack. He's like, oh, I had to fold, I had to fold there. Did you, could you see the wind come out of the sails? Like where? Uh, yeah, <sighs> for sure. Oh. For sure. For sure. Yeah, those are tough. But it, it, you could, you know, you could still recover. It was a make or break moment for his tournament. As you see, he has five big blinds at this point. Something like that. So I've said to my husband many times when I'm playing, I didn't want to lose, so I lost. And that happens. Okay. You don't want to lose, so you lose. You you miss an opportunity, and it just, that was your shot. Correct. All right. All right. Send it. Play each hand individually. Don't play for the money. Play for Valentino's the... Valentino's out. He's nine. I'm surprised. So here we go. Mike. Grinder with king six. Grinder wants his chips. Wants it. He's going to be the guy I have to put it? No, put him to the test? I don't know if he's going to do it. He's looking to see if the blinds want to call. Oh, oh, he did it. Oh, uptown. He's ahead. Wow. And he didn't even know it. He's ahead. Nope. Oh. That's it. Game over. Ace shows up. Ah. The rich get richer. There you go. Yes. It's unfortunate. Mike made that fold because he didn't want seventh place. Mm. Yeah. He 
got a lot of chips too. I understand why he pulled it. I think it just hurt him too much. I, I, I'm more likely to put it in there and say, if I go out on this, I, I'm this is what's supposed to happen. I go out on this. I go out on this hand. Yeah. It was a weird spot. The way the grinder played it, he was representing something really strong. It's not terrible for Mike. He, he, he goes away with how much? Just under five. Okay, 5, just 000. under 5,000 first time. Not bad. We have uh, opportunity to still win the main. That 5K could buy him into every flight. Play every flight. You're every ready to flight. Go. Every single one. He's got eight bullets. There you go. Yeah, we're counting out. Parlay it. Right. <laughs> Nobody want to have 30K. Go for the 100K. Yeah, the hell with that 30K. <laughs> We gave you a perfect parlay amount. Correct. Work it. Work it, Mike. You can do it. So we're down to six, six. now. And sixth place is 6,414. Next prize jumps up almost $2,000. Our poker, one of our poker room managers, Tim, just came down to say hello. So it's nice to run events where the pink, chip get into, pink chips get into play. It's always nice. It means yes. that we're, we're playing a large event. Here's Grinder with Queens again. The ladies love them. Oh, you said it. <laughs> you said it. I didn't say it. She said it. I had to. Uh, he's just going to walk here. Yeah, it's like, ah. Here we go. Grinder's like, I can't get any I can't get any play on my hands. This is terrible. I have to make my own plays. <laughs> the grinder's just moving so far ahead against the field. And that's that's what happens. It, it goes and yeah. it goes. And I'll, I'll, I'll tell you what, we will not have an issue like we did on Friday with the chop. It's not, it's not going to happen. No, ch yeah, unless, chop. unless they not eliminate the grinder, it's not yeah. happening. I, I, I don't see it. I do not see it. The one that I think has the best chance is Valentino. C3? Yeah. Okay. Four. Oh, yeah, three. Um, he didn't lose it when he lost these two hands in a really – Back-to-back -back bad beats. Right. And you can tell some people have been there before. They understand the cards yeah. come down like that. They don't take it and post it on Twitter and say, look, I got unlucky again. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Like, Did oh, I say that? Who would do that? <laughs> <laughs> oh. You know, if you can't swallow some bad luck in poker, you gotta. that's a it's problem. It's coming. Yeah, it, it this is, is the way I look at it. This is the way I look at it. And a lot of things in life. Wake up in the morning and expect to catch the worst horrendous beats of your whole entire life. And if you don't, it's a great day, <laughs> but expect it yeah, because it's probably coming Yeah, and be pleasantly surprised when there's, it doesn't. There's one around the corner right. for sure. Right. For so sure. it's coming. So don't be surprised. When I used to deal, I used to think, how are these people surprised that the flush hits on the river? It's coming. Like I just, I expect it. It's happening. How is this a shock? And if it doesn't come, oh. What? Kyle. Oh, Snap Kyle, it. a monster hand. Let's see how he plays it. I think he's going to allow a little rope. He's going to put a little bit in. Check. Zero. <laughs> oh, now, now, now Grinder loses. He doesn't lose a dollar here. Uh, a chip. He does not lose a chip here. I think his reads are so yeah, solid. See? God. No, he's, 
he's like, what can I be here? I can't make a play. Why would I make a play here? Yeah. There's like 700. See? I honestly think that his success may be in his reads. Yeah. Um, he, oh, you, he's he's at the level. He's He has tells on the players by now. Yeah, for He knows sure. they're betting. He probably is tracking betting patterns for some of the stacks. Well, there he, was one board that came 5-5 um, five, five king, and he had king three, and the other guy had ace 10. He checked him. The guy checks behind. The turn is an ace. He checks the guy bets. He calls. The river's another ace. In that spot, I'm always paying him off with my king. He right. let it go. Yeah, he just And I thought, you, you had to have some kind of read on this guy. Because two aces are better than one. How does he fold in there? They did. Valentino, you didn't like your threes. Yeah, it's tough. I know, this little pocket pairs will drain your stack. Well, especially, well, with the grinder having the big stack, because he's not mm. going to. Well, he's not going away. No. All right, Mario's back. Let's get some hands rolling. Look at that trophy sparkling over there. So Daniel with ace queen. Kevin's all in. Kevin's in for six ninety. Takes Daniel six ten to call. It's essentially either uh, somebody calling. somebody's close to going out on it. It'll be basically elimination on this hand. Just about. Yeah. Ace queen feels so far ahead, but it really isn't. Sixty forty ish. Now it's really, really, oh. really isn't. 10-4 smashes it. Oh, uh, 10-4. So that leaves Daniel at 90? That was Kevin. Wow. What's left? Does Daniel have anything left? 90K. So that's yeah, essentially a, a chip in a chair. Yeah. <laughs> that's the worst yeah. that we had that happen on a, uh, the feature table the other day, set over set. The under set hit their set on the at the on the window and then drag behind the, <laughs> the overset. Came the overset. <laughs> it feels so good when you see that little set come out. There, the, in no limit hold'em, there's no better feeling than flopping a set. Oh, there's yes. nothing. Nothing better. There's nothing better. No. Not even close. You're like, please put an ace with this. And there it is. Drag like, it across the flop. Please put an ace with my two deuces. That's correct. Please God, flop me a set. And if you. I read this one time in a tournament. You flop a set and you lose. It's just not your tournament. Yes. You don't get away from sets. Right. And if you make no. three queens on the river and you lose, <laughs> it's very close to that. <laughs> very close. Yeah. 
All in call. Valentino. We get to see Valentino's cards now. Oh, there's the sixes. Uh, so pocket he's got pair. one over. King. King only to save. Oh, and there it is. And he gets it. Hey. All right. We're still in there. Yeah, a nice little double, double up. Double up real quick. Yeah. Two or three more of those, and he'll be good. <laughs> he'll be back in the game. <laughs> Excuse her maniacal laugh when we say that. <laughs> <laughs> ha, ha, ha. Three double ups to get back in it. He can do it. <laughs> it's been done before. It has. And now he's on the button, too. <laughs> oh. An ICM so, chop. Short sack. Thrown out the ICM chop. I'd be surprised. An ICM favors the shorter stacks. Punishes the larger stacks. So basically, it takes your minimum payout. Okay. And gives everybody that. Yeah. And then uh, yeah, so that's assigns equity. a yeah. value okay. to each chip, basically, and adds it on top. Okay. So he's looking at a fifth, uh, sixth place finish. And then he'll get a little something he'll on top little, of that. Yeah, a little bit more on top. He shouldn't because he's essentially going out next. I mean, the odds are. Yeah. <clears throat> and Especially. you excuse my maniacal laugh. Ha, <laughs> 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 You're right. Good point. Touche. So, Daniel has ace queen. So, he has another hand. So, he yeah. asked for an ICM. That's going in. We're playing anyway. Yeah. And now you can't ask for an ICM because a hand's going on. No. Like, you're sure you don't want the ICM before I jam this? It's <laughs> too late. Yep. Stack it up, move it in. This is just for TV right now. Yeah, I'm Unless not quite sure what he's thinking about. No, there's nothing to think about. He's thinking about what could have been with the ICM. There you go. You know what? He's got ace queen. That's what I'm saying. Get it in. Yeah, it's going. Go. Don't be shy. Oh, now? Glasses off. He's trying to get a read with ace, with ace queen. No, you're going to put it in there. Just go. Well, that's under that discussion. I guess he's mad at Ace Queen. It's what cut his whole stack down. I don't know. What is this? I don't know. Right? Maybe he wanted to be the aggressor Maybe. rather than call it off. Okay. But still better to wait for it, have ace queen than any other hand that you're going to get in the next five hands before you get blinded out. Yeah, I think this is his spot. He'll take it. No, it's his spot. Yeah, he's going to take it. Yeah. What is he doing something to try to raise the blinds? I don't know. Unless he's pissed at ace queen for Unless losing he... to 10-4. <laughs> I don't know. There's, yeah, maybe it's not ace queen. Maybe it's not ace queen. There, thank you. There it goes. It's going in. Holy moly. The grinder's out. And he's in the best spot he could possibly That's be in. That's it. Ace nine versus ace queen. And we were hemming and hawing. So. That he just lost with it. He didn't want his mad at this ace queen. He'll be mad at it again. Yeah, he will. Okay, that comes clean. And he needs two pair. No. Oh! Okay. He is mad at ace queen. Now he's mad at everybody. <laughs> what? Nine on the river. Brutal. Right. Okay, Brutal. so you wake up this morning, like I said, <laughs> <laughs> and expect the worst beat, horrendous beat to come, and there it is, and now you're not surprised. Yeah. Because well, that you know, was bad. It did. It played out. Oh, played no. Out for him. That certainly so, played out. Oh. He was right to not want to call it the Ace Queen. How do he know? He knew. He knew. He did. He said, this is it. Ace Some people Queen have that is horrible. spidey sense. He's like... <laughs> <laughs> My ace queen, he has ace nine, and a nine's gonna come. You can see into the future. Daniel, lesson learned. We were wrong. I'm sorry. Yes, Daniel. Lay it down. Yeah. Fold that ace queen. Whoa. <laughs> oh man. You were right. We were wrong. What's oh, happening here? Florida Martin man, Florida Mountain man has paid his dues. He's all caught up. He can get tickets now. Sweet. Okay, Sweet. you're all set. That means you paid your dues. Sweet. 
Now are they talking ICM? Wait, did I hear somebody say ICM? Who said ICM? Did the grinder say ICM? No. Does he have a date or something? What's going on? Maybe he does. He must have a date. Is, who said it? I don't know. Let's hear it. What? Mario's just kidding. That was a fair assessment. Hold the clock. We what don't do, hold the clock wait. for chops. What do we? No, no, wait, what are we discussing? Uh, an ICM. We're really. So, I just, I just said how there's no shot. <laughs> no, it. Your reads are off. I'm way off. Way like, off. I'm telling him the full day. Call, call it ace queen right away. I was no wrong there. Chop. There's no way grinder <laughs> chops here. Well, if he does and it's an ICM, he's going to take the lion's share. But you know what I would say pay. here? I get ICM and all that stuff. I would. This is exactly what I would say right now. I would no. tell everybody at the table, I'm taking first <laughs> place money. Do whatever you want. I would say that. I've seen people agree to this. Yeah. I don't know how you make it happen, but people you do just say, agree. I say it. I want, I want first place money because yeah. what happens is the other players are trying to they jockey can, yeah. and they don't want to get involved and they'd rather get safe money. But essentially you would say, I want first place money. Let's go ahead. So let's see what happens. The craziest deal I ever saw. Yeah. Three handed. Yeah. The one guy says, I have more chips than you. You can't beat me. So yeah. you're going to get second. Yeah. And he has more chips than you. Yeah. So you're going to get third. Yeah. And they all said, okay. I got one better than that. No, but there's, there's no worse that they could yes, do. Yes, there is. I'll yeah. tell you worse. First place guy has a ton of chips. Yeah. He said, the, uh, second and third say, let's do a chop. So they say, okay. He says, make me an offer. So second and third walk away. So let's say first place is a thousand. 500 and 300, for right, simplicity's right, right, sake. Right, yeah. First place is 1,000. Right. The two guys go off to the side, and they come back, and they say, we'll give you 1,100. No. <laughs> <laughs> and he says yes. And the floor guy says no. I said, why is it no? If he wants it, if, he, if they want Let them Let go. them give him 1,100. <laughs> he can't get more than first place money. Well, clearly he can because they were going to give it to him. They gave it. Like the grinder could probably ask for, like, give me 100 more than first place, and we'll chop it. So one thing that's great we have um, we gonna, a second. They're go, they're gonna they're doing what? What are they doing? Who invented ICM? What did he say? Who? Who came up with ICM? I don't know. Okay. So it sounds like a chop's going through. So we're getting word, folks. We'll give you a, a look into the future. We have an ICM that looks like it's going to go through. Yeah. Grinder, if you're feeling charitable today, <laughs> he's going to go ahead and, and let them go ahead. He's and take tricky. It. You can never figure him out. Yeah, he's getting the best of it somehow. He's got to. <laughs> so he's not going to make himself a bad deal. No, he's not. He must know. You know, maybe he thinks that certain level. You know. Uh, at a certain level, there's too much gamble in it. Just has I don't think so. so. Many chips, though. He does. He does. Um, but and he's dominating the table. Lion share. So first place is what, Jamie? Thirty three thousand. So essentially, we're gonna have to hear. So he's giving something up, but I'm hearing it'll be twenty four. He'll get. <laughs> I just got messaged. Okay by a regular player yeah. saying, ask Noah how he was talking all that crap about no ICM job talk. <laughs> yeah, I, 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 I have no business being on He's screen. He's shocked. He's shocked. I have no idea how poker works. <laughs> I have no idea. I don't know what's going on here. This just doesn't make sense. Yeah. Either and way. There has to be a good advantage to it, or he's not going to take it. Correct. He's not going to do it. It's got to be to his advantage. Has to be.
Do we have the numbers on it? The numbers, we're going to get them now in just a second here. They're going to work through it. Yeah, let's see. Is it official? Did it go through? All right, so we have, we have Mike coming down here now, so I'm going to get, I'm going to look into a brain Welcome. of a champ. Let, let's see what's going on. Mike, first off, great job. Thanks so much. Like, pretty much, af after the feature table, it was almost, it was almost wire to wire. Uh, it was, yeah. um, tell me about the chop, like. Ha, ha. Well, everyone's asking for an ICM chop. Yeah. I said, let's play winner take all. Right. They didn't agree to that one. <laughs> okay. So, uh, that in mind, I didn't mind. I didn't want to hold up by it. It's, okay. It's, it's, it's Sunday. I mean, I, I'm getting better than second place money. Second was 20. Right. I'm getting 24 and change. So I'm, okay. And then, you know, the lines move every 30 minutes. So it's like, I mean, you lose a couple of hands, you can be out right away. So it's, right. not, and you, it's not you, a bad it's not a bad deal in that spot. No, and you, bad ICM shop there. And so you've seen it before where I never it goes, really do it, but in this term, I wouldn't mind. It's a, it's a Sure, small, yeah, sure. It's a smaller buying yeah, for you small, relative small, to what small. you are for them. But I, I thought, I, but okay, so that shows your character because clearly, the tournament for you didn't mean as much for some of the players, so you're giving up yeah, huge equity because you could have put the screws to them. I just don't want. Yeah, I yeah. know I could have done that. I just don't want to. You know, I don't want to. Felt like the bad guy, but no. in a bigger tournament, I wouldn't have. I wouldn't have done it. I would. Just, I would played it out. Right, because yeah, uh, it's just only a difference. I mean, it's eight. I'm only giving up eight. What an eight thousand. Right, eight thousand. Right, and you've done chops before. You give up way more than that. Or I take mean, I've more got than a, that. I've got a chop before, but they give me first and they chop second and third. So right, so so you'll, you'll get it back. Place. So so yeah, you're you're a man of the people. Yeah, I mean, yeah. clearly. People's champ, baby. You are the people's champ. So, yeah. thanks again for playing. It's yeah, been fun so watching much. you. We learned a bunch. Um, we hope to see you next week. I will. I'll be um, here next week then. Uh, and, and, um, and, um, thanks, and you guys, thanks for the invite. I mean, it was, I didn't actually know Linnell told me about this yeah. tournament, so I was like, yeah, I'm coming. Because I don't really follow up so many tournaments. Yeah, I, you're a hard, I've you're been like, playing a lot more cash. Now. I play a lot more cash games. So. Okay. No so limit? Are you playing mixed games? Or what I play you playing? a lot of PLO. I play more. Okay. There's not mixed games in South Florida. Right. But, uh, when I'm in Vegas, I was playing mixed games. Yeah. Okay. So. Yeah. yeah, you're you're uh, you're a legend. I mean, from way back. I mean, when we were getting going, and and I remember the story of I came into the business the same time you came into the business, but you went from dealer yeah, to world champ. I went yeah. from dealer to director of the poker room, and I love it. I'm happy. But uh, we took two different paths. But it was it was nice following a hometown guy and watching him and you and your brothers and and the story. So it's great. Uh, see you on top again. It's only a matter of time before thanks, you get man. more bracelets and some other big things. And uh, yeah. thanks for coming. Yeah, and we'll see you again. Amazing time here. I, mean, yeah. I love this place. All right, man. I'll be back next week, baby. Take care. All right. So we're just going to go ahead and wrap up now. So uh, as you see, they're going through. They're just discussing the ICM. So essentially, uh, the grinder takes home the trophy. He takes home the lion's share of the money. Um, you heard it right from him. He explained it. So we had the question, what's going on? How are you going to give up the equity? There's something to be said for karma and, and goodwill and, and just making it easy on everybody. And, and, and he said it, he, you know, the people's champ. You know what? I'm here. I'm having fun. This is more fun for me than anything. Let's go ahead and chop. Mike, what do you think? Uh, I think it was a great tournament. Yeah. Uh, I, I can't wait now for the uh, main event. Uh, there's eight flights, two on Wednesday, two on Thursday, two on Friday, and two on Saturday. And don't forget, we're giving away a ticket to one of those flights right here on our Twitch, exclamation enter. So it sounds like those guys are going to be here again. So if you want to get involved, uh, come on up, play with those guys. I'm hearing, I'm hearing. So a crowd likes a crowd, and then you get guys like the grinder and his brother and some other professionals coming up to play that people come up to play. So yeah. it should be a great event. I'm, yeah, I look I'm looking forward to it. I'm looking super forward to it. So again, thank you to the viewers. Yeah. Thank you to everybody who followed us. Thank you for everybody who watched the show. Make sure you follow us. Make sure yeah. you follow our Twitter streams. Um, uh, follow our Twitter, our Twitch, all uh, the social media. Might cover all that. We Facebook, have it all. You know everything. where to find us. Whatever you like, yeah. you'll find us on there. Follow us um, for the best poker content. As you can see, it just only gets better. Um, great opportunity to learn poker. Great opportunity for some giveaways and great opportunity to know what's going on here at yep. the Palm Beach Kennel Club. Mike, you want to go ahead and close it out? Yeah, thanks to everybody in production today. Uh, thank you to Jamie. Thank you to Noah. Thank you to Josh. Uh, everybody who helped out with this great production today. I want to let everybody know I've started a fan club for Alan Kessler. I am now the president of that fan club. 
Noah likes that. Uh, and uh, of course, everybody, uh, thank you for watching. We had a steady stream of almost 100 people watching all day. You can still continue to hit exclamation enter and enter to win those tickets for a chance to get into the main event. We will see you next week, or actually this week. We're going to have more feature tables. It's going to be another great week of tournaments right here in the Palm Beach Winter Classic at PBKC. Congratulations to the grinder and good night.